Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is once again time for Triple H for Half-Hearted Hardcore. We are, as is customary, on our pause screen. Because this world is dangerous and I don't want it to progress without my full attention. Huh. Hey, Mints. I, I, I like that. The kind of thing where you're like start associating a track or something to an activity or another thing so clearly that you like they become almost inseparable it's a nice thing I feel like my render this is just low no, it isn't hmm yes so we did a whole ton of progress last time on this stuff you got a whole bunch of good gear the problem is it's not good enough. <laughs> hey, William. <laughs> it's class core survival again. Yeah, but with half a heart. Wee! And then it ended. Okay. Uh, that's that sunset. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. So last time we kind of enclosed all our villagers in uh, uh, um, uh, spa cells. Oh God! Stop. Okay. No. Don't oh, well, whatever. Don't need the morning gifts that much, but this bug is annoying. Stop. Not on the bed. You're you're not allowed on the bed except at night. Stop. Stop. Sit. Good. <laughs> yeah, so we were uh, we're working on this. The sort of the next big target of this is to get to the Nether, uh, find a fortress kill blaze enough to get to brewing that's kind of the big next thing it's a big next thing though no jump half-hearted hot bar ultra glass core in vr with rule set matter crazy keep bind challenge uh uh well i guess luckily the vr controls are not that many so you can change that much <laughs> Eric Zumo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So here's our state. Uh, we have an extra pair of boots. They're going to have Depth Strider and Feather Falling on them, but we need a good base enchant. We need protection because we're going to switch our pants. So the problem is right now we have prote projectile protection on the boots. I want three, pa three parts of maxed out protection and one part of maxed out projectile protection. Then I want an alternate uh, piece for the one that has the uh, projectile protection, which is going to be fire protection, maxed out, of course. And that's going to be our nether gear. So in the overworld, normally day to day here, we're going to spend our time with the projectile protection on. And then when we go to the nether, we'll switch it out to get fire protection. So we have fire protection on legs now. And projectile protection three, we can buy from a villager. This guy, I believe. Yeah, so we'll need to buy one more of these, 31 emeralds, that's fine. Um, and then combine them with these, and then we have the two pairs of pants we need. In the meantime, I'm using these protection three. No blast protection. No blast protection, also no, <laughs> no heart attack protection. Thank you very much for the bets. <laughs> Oof. Um... The problem right now is basically, well, we have some helmets to combine and stuff too. Uh, but the problem right now is we need a good base enchant on boots to be able to progress. We need protection on boots, which means that we're kind of got to have to just get more. We can get books and then we need mending on a couple of tools and stuff too. So there's that we have looting two on this which means we need another looting <laughs> so we have some ways to go but we're doing pretty good um not really more i want for this there's not aquafinity and respiration on these plus protection four on this so that's good this is all good don't care about the thorns really um, the new boots are gonna be good as soon as we get that and these are need to be replaced So we need to do one more trade here. Then basically all we need is XP and to try and try and try and try to roll over this stuff Actually, I guess what I should be doing 
How many books do I have? 29 books and plenty of lapis. What I should be doing is I should be cycling this enchantment table until I get what I need. Because it's easier to get XP from lower levels than from higher levels. So if I'm going to be cycling this a ton anyway, I should be doing it on lower levels rather than high levels. So we might as well just take Aqua Affinity. Like, that might even make it cheaper to make the helmet later, so why not? Alright, so then... Still unbreaking three, so... Nope. So we'll keep, like, getting books here and then disenchanting the ones that are terrible. Um... Why am I having a helmet in here? I don't think I need anything more than a helmet. Is there anything more than a helmet that I would need? I don't think so. So we'll keep taking these books. We can we can grindstone the ones that we don't need once we're done. Um, protection 3. So we did a protection 3 one, then we would get like another one, but why would I? I might as well keep cycling, to be completely honest. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take the Aquafinity one. I'm gonna put it away. Cause this one, the only thing we need from this helmet is Aquafinity. So there's no reason to, to do that if I have it on a book, cause that's gonna be a cheaper combine. I'm pretty sure. So here we go. Anything on here? Fire. I hate it, but we're not taking it. So all of these we can then just disenchant, but we're not going to do it now. We'll do it when we're on low level. Bane of Arthropods 4. Yay, unbreaking. Poop. Death Striders 3. Feather Falling 2. Protection 3. It's almost worth getting Protection 3 on books, because we could combine... But then I'd have to get back up to level th 30 now. Which is maybe doable, actually. Um, so we can start by rainstoning this stuff. And then if we go get a whole bunch of... Let's see. Where do I have my valuables? Here? <laughs> This stuff is all over the place, but whatever. Oh, we have diamonds there and diamonds here. I guess we'll move these things here. Um, put these away. Put those away. This helmet, don't need. Put the books away. That should be cool. So I'm thinking if we go out here, because this looks almost entirely grown. So maybe we go out there and harvest this, sell it all, and it'll be good. What time is it? Noon? That should be okay. The sound is fantastic. Okay, we'll do this instead. Oh, we also get a little bit of a look on this edge of the place. The next thing we gotta do is we have these four golden apples, and I'm not satisfied with that. I'm not going to the nether with four golden apples only, because it's their our only line of defense. Yep, it's the calming sound of mass destruction. <laughs> and then mass pickups, that, that's also part of it. But, so we need to start uh, figuring out how we work towards that. Which probably is going to mean we need to go down and mine a whole bunch more, but also... Uh, we need a bunch of apples. So either I need to force my way to a farmer with an apple trade, which is kind of tricky in my current setup, or we need to make a whole bunch of trees. And I started making some trees last time, but it's kind of, we're just like manually looking at them and in this one tree at a time and it's in our base. So I think the best thing we can do 
probably is going to be to expand the base a section like this, essentially. But on the other end, and then we will plant a whole bunch of trees, cut them all down at once, and then let them all decay and then go pick up all the items. So if we just have a timer on that, it should be good. So that took all of the... <laughs> so that's almost all of the day. Hey, Sondax. And hey, Porky. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I need to go pick up all of these now. And it's I, I switched to third person because this makes it slightly easier to see them. But not that much. They're still, like, super hidden in this maze of... Oh, that one wasn't them. It was just snuck up on the edge. Oh, this one here. So, we need apples, we need gold. I mean, ideally would have a whole bunch of them and then like at least one notch apple or something, but uh, that's not gonna happen. So, in the absence of that, the best thing we can do is go there with at least, you know, at least I would say eight golden apples. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a rough one in, anyway, but, ooh. Uh, I should be enchanting this shield. This shield should have an unbreaking one, so we should try to combine an unbreaking out of the, th the books. So we'll try to, uh, we'll try to, um, we'll try to, uh, prioritize the, uh, unbreaking enchants from now on. If we find them, because we won't be able to, um, we won't be able to get a proper good book, I don't think. That's a lot of sugar gain. Okay. Uh, is it actually night? It's not fully night time yet, so I guess paper time. Okay, do I have some spare somewhere? No, apparently not. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, have you ever thought about putting a roof on your base so you don't get attacked by phantoms? Uh, phantoms are a non issue. I cannot let time pass in this world without sleeping. Because, partly because phantoms, partly because spiders, partly because I don't want mobs running around out here in case I do need to go out of the base. Like, it's just, it's too dangerous to let a night pass. Even when I'm underground, I keep track and uh, make sure that I don't let that happen. So here's a uh, loot from my mob farm, by the way. If you haven't seen it, there's this whole thing. We built, we built a dark room spawner in this mode, because why not? Um, okay, let's go trade some taper, and that's hopefully, uh, you're fully, I wonder if they're all fully unlocked. Your diamond, your diamond, you are not diamond. Cool. Uh, but also not trading in, in paper, so okay. Uh, can you, oh yeah, this, this guy who just ended up standing in, in our way. You also don't have a paper trade? Okay, we'll just trade with whoever then. With iron golem in face. How did you build the glass tower? As you normally would. Just stacking up. Um, and I made sure to have water underneath when I built all this stuff. And then I built a water... Like a water tower thing inside of it. So you can see this uh, bubble column now. But it was just glass. Uh, it was just uh, water to begin with. Okay, so you're not restocking yet. Because I guess it's not working hours yet. So we'll go to the next one. It's a little less efficient because we don't get the discount. But... On the other hand, mostly we're out uh, going for the XP at the moment, so... Actually, should jump here just so if one got stuck. Oh, now they all restocked at once. Nice. Work hours have begun. Alright, so we're still only level 24. That's surprising. I thought for sure we'd get way further than this. Where did we start? I thought we were like 24. As long as you have some water underneath, it's fine. Uh, you're not you're not putting yourself in a lot of risk. Uh, I think I'll take these, like the remaining workstations, and I'll put them somewhere. I guess we can put them in here because we have the beds in here, all the villager-related things. Okay, so that didn't get as far at all. So that's miscount for my part. Well, we need to buy this. So we might as well buy it now. So we have all of this. Started 21. Uh, still, I thought we'd get way further. 
So these two need to be combined. So I'm reconsidering again. Maybe we should just keep cycling. What, what would it cost to combine these? Eight. So we could essentially keep cycling here um, until we get a perfect uh, protection four on boots. Um, I think we'll do that. I think it's best. And then we'll combine these if we, if, if we get down to eight. Because then we can, in the meantime, we'll take any unbreaking one that we've come across. And then we can probably build up to an unbreaking on shield. Because if I'm going into the nether, my shield is going to take a lot of damage. And I don't want to pack like four shields. So, we'll skip this as much as I hate it. But, um, also on these, Death Threader, Feather Falling Protection. So, fine. Combining them when you're lower level is more efficient anyways. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, but I wanted to kind of... The idea of saving him was I wanted to get um, this, Protection 3, on a book. Because it was a way to get Protection 4. But now I'm skipping that because it's gonna... Yeah. It's gonna take too long, so... We'll just cycle until we get the best. Okay, so that's interesting. So if we if we get protection four on the boots or on the book, I guess, then we have to stop whatever we're doing and reconsider. Otherwise, we'll just keep going. Smite. Smite actually wouldn't be bad to have uh, down the line. Smite four. Come on. I'm getting nothing of use. Level 19. Piercing. Here's a protection too that we could actually take. Might as well take a protection too if we need to build all of this. Have you ever gotten a white wool villager? Uh, well, I haven't really tried. This one is a maybe keep. Ugh. There we go. Okay, so we're stopping. Perfect enchant on boots. So now we need up to level 30. But since I'm so low already, we might as well do this one. I've seen some people have OP villagers that restock really quickly. It's a 1.14 thing, and we're still in 1.14 here, so... It doesn't matter that much though, because twice a day is good enough for me, really, with the villager setup I have, so it's fine, but still. Projectile prediction four. Yeah, let's do it. So, not here. Here. Uh, these are our pants. These are what we need. We need to combine this with this and our current helmet. Ooh, we should maybe do some of that too now. Let's take a look. If we can. Take aim advancement can we got without killing an entity with a bow and arrow. Uh, what, what do you mean? I mean, I have it. Uh, so, this plus this is 13. I don't... Th yeah, it doesn't... I can't turn it the other way around, I think, because that would mean fire protection on this, which I don't want. So we want it this way. That's going to cost 13. Which I don't have. And then we also want to put Aqua Affinity on, which is 2. So we do that first. I wonder if it if it matters which one we do it to. It shouldn't, since they're both 2. It might, actually. Should probably put it on the second one. I'm guessing. Yeah. Using a sword and killing an entity? What? I... That seems extremely odd. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Now we can combine these two. It's gonna cost us 18. That's fun. Uh, and so, we'll keep this protection... We don't need this protection 2 book anymore. Alright, we have six levels. Uh, we want this with this book. So I guess we'll put that on. 
So we have that already. We just need a looting thing with sharpness. So this is going to eat up five of those levels. So that's cool. Looting two. We kind of need another looting two, preferably, but... Doing pretty decent, though, I would say. And then the boosts, once we get them, will need to be combined with a whole bunch of stuff, too. So, uh, it'll be interesting. Alright, so now... Hold up. What were these? These are the mending ones. Okay. So now we have one level. Now it's time to start climbing back up out of this hole. Uh, not here. In the grindstone. <laughs> Pepperoni. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. What a name. Power one, feather falling one. Do I need protection to on anything? Is there any risk that I would ever need this book? Because we don't get much from this stuff. I mean, I got like less than a full level from that, even at level one. So maybe worth keeping. Uh, I should put this back on for now. Maybe I'll just keep that out of just for the sake of it. Uh, no, this just this just goes on somewhere. And these are two actual pants that we want to switch to, but I can't switch away from protection until I have full protection in the other fields. So we'll just leave that. Okay. All right. So now, now we have a little bit of a grind to do because we need to get up to level thirty. And we have level two. <laughs> so I guess. Uh, ooh. Sword was not unbreaking, was it? No. So you can't really use the sword. I guess we'll do it the slow way. Uh, should not be using this e either, actually. Because we're eating up a bit of this durability. I don't want to put mending on stuff before we're like ready either. Because the mending will start eating up all this stuff. But we could... What we could do is we could... Well, we couldn't because all the villagers have gone to bed. But we could buy another... Except that guy is just a rebel. Uh, we could buy another axe, and I think we will. This is, it's just going to be better uh, to buy a new axe and use that up, because this one has the sharpness on it. So it's going to be our thing. Uh, we can't buy a sword, because we haven't unlocked our weaponsmith. Alright, so now we should be able to sleep. Hi, kitty! Yay. Give us something? Nope. Didn't feel like it. That's fine. Let us find... Uh, you're the Fletcher. Where's the Toolsmith? You're like way over here. Right, you? Right? No, you're also Fletcher. Oh yeah, we started like unlocking a second guy. You're the Toolsmith. 25 for... This is a really good axe, actually. This is a really good thing to just have a second one. So we'll do that. It gives us a little bit of XP too, so why not? Ah, let me out. And we'll use this to cut down... <laughs> At least we have an axe for our bamboo forest here. How's our inventory? We should empty it, because this is going to be crazy. Alright, so we'll put... Uh, yeah, we'll put away that, that, and the books. And these, I suppose. We'll put like this. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll do it. And then, after this... I think what we should do is we should go out to that side and we should uh, start working on an expansion that way. Need to look uh, at my glass supply actually before we do that because I don't know if I have enough. Might not. We might have to tear down some of the buildings there too and stuff so still could do it um, but I need to look in case I do need to smelt a whole bunch of new glass. Because if I do, then we should be doing that while we're tearing stuff down and not just sitting and waiting for it later. But first, tear down this whole farm at once. And uh, then uh, trade all of this to see where we end up. Because I, I want this to be growing back up while we're doing other stuff. And I think it's basically at its limits right now. More glass equals slightly more XP. True. 
but I don't want to smelt a whole bunch of the sand if I don't act, like actually need the the glass. I guess I'm building so much out of glass it wouldn't hurt, but still. Jeez. The amount of bamboo from this is just absolutely crazy. Okay, our inventory is full. We're not even like we're maybe two thirds, may maybe, through this. So that's kind of nuts. All right, so sticks for days. Cartographers will buy glass panes. I never want to sell glass though. I have a constant need for glass. All right. That was an interesting pattern. <laughs> uh, so I guess you are... Okay, so you're also a master. Oh yeah, slow falling arrows. Don't know if I would, when, when I would ever use that. But it doesn't matter. We'll just use you to get XP and emeralds. Level 5. Okay, you're out. Restock. Why don't you? Okay, okay now you did. Okay, we're done. Uh, 22 emeralds and 8 levels. Or 7, I guess, because we started at 1. Or it started at 2, actually. Alright, well. That's not bad. Let's go grab some of this stuff before it despawns. Wouldn't the diamond sword, sword be cheaper to use on your farm than a diamond axe? But the di I've never used diamonds. Like, this is emeralds. Th this axe was essentially free. Actually, buying this axe got me slightly cro closer to the goal I have, which is getting enough XP. So, if I made it out of diamonds, then yes, but uh, I just bought another diamond axe because I have the trade, and, and I have I'm going to have way too many emeralds for anything I want to do with them after this. I will probably, you know... If I ever get that far, we'll have beacon material as emeralds, for sure, right? Like, sword would be nicer because it would be faster, but other than that, it's it's not more economic. I would love it, but it, like ideally, I would have a I would unlock a weapon smith, but it's that's too expensive because I don't have any of the input materials. All right, inventory is full again. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Eh? Come on, on now. Let's do this thing. Do the thing, please. All right, so, yeah, you... Give me shiny stuff. I'll give you some random little sticks in return. All this XP is like getting stuck. 11, good. That was a very dark, huh, there? Okay, so almost level 12. Does beacon work in the nether or end? It does, but you have to set it up there in a... Like, in the end, it's not a problem. Uh, a beacon needs skylight access, so in the end, this, this fine. It just has to be exposed to the sky. In the nether, you have to expose it to the top bedrock, which means that you need to basically clear all the netherrack in a column. So there's a bunch more work to set up a beacon in the nether, but it does work if you do. Okay, there we go. We'll just pick up all of this, replant, and then go sell whatever remains. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's definitely sufficient. There's a bunch that like spills over on the outside and stuff. I don't care because I get so much and, and just the effort of 
either preventing that or going and getting it is not worth the, the cost like not or not worth the loss so we'll just we'll, we'll just take the loss it's fine so many bamboo Yeah, you kind of you should scout out your location in the Nether if you do it there to make sure that the bedrock is like one thick or, or at most two thick, I guess. Because if there's if it's three thick thick in that location, then you can uh, then it can have another wreck in between, and then you can't it won't work. Uh, August, uh, thank you for the follow. Why break all the bamboo rather than breaking the second block? Because it's so much easier to 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 work around. Like if you break the second one, you get these. They still have collision, so it becomes enormously uh, annoying to walk on it. So I just do this instead. I find it less annoying to replant than to deal with that. It's not too much work. Oops. And then, like, you break the second one, and then, like, you keep walking, and the ones that you've already broken will keep, like, um, growing, and so you walk into them and stuff. It's just annoying. Ideally, I would have, like, a bunch of pistons and slime and stuff under here to just, like, shake the floor once and get rid of all of them at once. That would be fantastic. All right, let's trade a few last ones. Okay, almost. So, level 12 is where that got us. So that's just not too great. Why do I have bamboo? Like, why do I have bone meal in here? Um, I guess we'll put bone meal in here because it's kind of this category. Oh, nice. Okay, so nighttime cometh. Uh, let's see what we have. We appear to not have like basically any. You want to have? It? Oh, or did we put glass in here? Oh, here's where I had extra stuff like this. Okay, well then I can sell once more. Cool. Uh, I should should locate all of them into here. Okay, so this is our trading chest. Kind of forgot that. That's fine. Uh. Okay, so I've used up all my glass. How could I use up? Ex no, here, this, okay. So we have not enough. And, okay, let's try to grab, ooh, yeah, let's try to get this going before we go to bed. And, ideally four stacks. If we have it. We do. Uh, might not have enough, yeah, I do have enough coal. I have this. And now bed. Uh, that was a little late. Seems to ignore the conditions and only cares if you that you kill the end. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about my pack or are you talking about vanilla? Because vanilla definitely does not work that way. You about to die? You never know. This is this is totally a possible scenario. Because yeah, it's dangerous. Mine? That's possible. That's definitely possible. What do we have? How can I have not fallen more than 43 meters? Because I've gone up and down that thing a lot. And fell into water. Does it not count if you fall into water? Where's the t time played? Uh, 
I'm blind. Since last death, I guess that does it, because there's no death in this. 1.08 days. I mean, this is almost like... I. It must not count when you... Let's go, okay, so we had fallen 63 box. Let's go up and then go back down and see if it increases, because that's super weird. And also, I did want to go up, so it's not just about that. So, I, I want to take a look to see that there's nothing obvious, like a patrol heading into this area or something. There's a nit nitwits down there. What I kind of want to do is I kind of want to replace a section out here with dirt, so we get grass there. Don't know how much dirt I have, though. But that would be my ideal scenario. I can't see anything dangerous here, though. So that's cool. Alright, let's fall down. Because that's a fair number of blocks right there. Distance fallen it just didn't change. Well, template is going to be... Yeah, okay, it's there. It's going to be exactly the same as time since death, 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 obviously, in a hardcore world. Okay, so we have the glass running. I guess we'll put these, uh, or do we, we'll pick those up maybe. Yeah, we'll take those. Let's see how much dirt I have. Not much, I bet, because we're in a desert. Yeah, so that's all. That's all the dirt I had. That's not much. Hey, Azela. What's going on? Uh, we're kind of trying to get to level 30 again. I did a whole bunch of combines and stuff. Okay, so we need to do two things. We need to... We need to tear down these houses. And we need to go and dig up a whole bunch of dirt. Those are two things we need to do outside. Asha! Thank you for the follow! Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. So here's the thing I've been doing. Now that we're outside, we don't really... Well, here's... Here's sandstone, but if I need to do something on sand, I'll do this to just double check that it's all actually solid and not about to fall in on the block update. So we know that. Okay, but that's cool. Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Let's start tearing down some of these houses. Do that here again. Most of this desert does seem extremely stable, though. We can get this to dissipate, and then put it down. Okay, do the same thing. Kind of want to check that this house is kind of safe to... Burn it with. Okay. Didn't scare me at all. Totally fine. Alright. Let's... Let's get rid of this. Did I get raided? I did not. Oh, you're right. I have a ton of viewers. For not having been rated. <laughs> Anonymous Savage. I missed that. Thank you for your follow. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy the stream. Okay. Well. This is a little nerve-wracking. Because we're outside of the entire kind of safe zone. It should be fine, but patrol spawning is what patrol spawning is, so you never know with patrols. So, just pay as much attention as I can to sounds and to any kind of mo movement in the corner of our eyes or anything. I'm just going to try to keep track of that. When do I normally work on my data pack? Saturdays. Saturdays are my map making streams. So not all of them are uh, our data pack. Patrol? Where's the patrol? Of course you'd do that. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> this is a very big house. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with this size of structure. All right, let's go, I guess. Whew, that's a cat. Don't be afraid of the cat. Cats are nice. This is good too because it takes away like a blind spot. There's it will it will 
uh, produce one more place where nothing can hide, which is great. I always do when you say patrol. Oh, is that how it works? <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Currently, pretty much every moment is the right moment to creep or scare you. That that is a correct observation. Thank you for the bits. Like it's daytime, so I shouldn't be I shouldn't be afraid of a creeper. But creeper uh, uh, creeper noises are always scary. So I think it was three houses here. So this the bottom floor, and then the other house, and then we're done with this part. And I need to figure out which level I want to put the dirt floor in. We also... That's a bat. And that indicates that there's some cave that something could come out of here somewhere. Or at least reasonably close. Uh, we also do know that there was a patrol that walked off this way, and we didn't see where it went. We didn't kill them all. We killed one of them who got stuck. And the rest kind of vanished off. Which is a problem, because there is a bug in this version where they don't always despawn. I thought it was more consistent and that they didn't, but these seem to have. I'm guessing that they despawned. But I'm not certain. So there could be a patrol chilling over there somewhere still. It's hiding in the temple. Oh yeah, right. We talked about the temple. Ugh. I don't see how they would have gotten there from the direction that they walked though, because there's this desert temple here. But it's not impossible. Hey, Underfan, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Much appreciated. Well, that would be fantastic amounts of fun, wouldn't it? Because considering that the temple's right here. It's the daytime, it's fine. If a patrol spawned, it would only be a problem, really, if I'm very careless or if they spawned incredibly close. Because I should be able to see their uh, their sounds in the uh, subtitle pane before we can even hear them. Because if they spawn reasonably far away, they'll be making sounds even though they're so far away you can't hear them. But you'll still, you know, they'll still be on the subtitle display. These are all sandstones I can stand here. Careful for the trap in the temple. The temple has been raided. Uh, well, I, I took the stuff from there a long time ago. <laughs> Buffet, deep, warm ocean. That, that sounds like a pain. It really does. Okay, so a little more than we're done. So, the bad news is it looks like we're kind of low compared to our base. Like here, the door is up there, so I kind of would like to put the... I kind of like to fill in a couple of layers here, ideally. Before putting in a dirt layer. Watch out. Something may be behind you. <sighs> Only a scare. That's the only thing behind me. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, though. Whew. I think the interesting thing is my my reaction has started to become, the more this, this has gone on, has started to become spin around and shield, which is probably, all things considered, a pretty good reaction. Uh, I don't... if So, this, let's say... Let's see a... Oh, it's a cat. Oh my. <laughs> uh, let's say that we put dirt here on this layer. Then we need another layer down here only. So we only need to, to do this. I don't know how much we should do either. I kind of want to expand as much as possible, really. So maybe we'll just like build this little, this little lower section up for now. Hey, Jack. And then we'll, uh, we need to go and get more dirt anyway, so we'll worry about that when we get that far. 
but this will at least produce a layer where we know that nothing will fall in that we can build on which is good and we we get it at the right height let's go in hey kitty oh we're not it's not nighttime enough yet all right let's do one of these uh, I should harvest more pumpkins too, because I'll need a whole bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. I got something there. What did you give me, kitty? Get off the bed, please. What did you give me? Uh, you gave me a rabbit hide. Well, thank you very much. There. Crossbows don't have damage increasing in chance. So you should have a little warning time. You will survive the first shot. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. How's this looking, actually? It's uh, between two and three. So that's good. All up was there. Jack! Thank you for six months, man. It's awesome. Death prediction for this attempt is blaze in the nether. Oh, that would not surprise me. That is such a dangerous point. Thank you. Thank you again for the uh, sub and for six months, half a year. I, that It's actually still blowing my mind that, that um, I have people that have supported me for that long. It is really cool. Yeah, looks good. Okay. So what we could do, actually... Oops. We could build the perimeter. Like, we could build a, um, a glass wall. We'll put down... Oh, it's a workspace thing. Uh, hold up. Do you get extra hearts when you eat a golden apple? Yeah. Golden apple... Golden apples give you um, give you health on on top of your max health, right? So it works the same way here. And we've used it a couple of times, like when we first went into the Nether and stuff. When I do something, when I do something tricky or more dangerous <laughs> than everything else is, then I generally make sure I have golden apples. Um, oh, that's that. Okay. Splash water bottle? Y yeah, but I can't make one. Like, the next big thing that I'm aiming for is potion brewing. And I would need to brew to make a water bottle into a splash. Uh, but I can't yet. So, that's that. But yeah, what we can do is we can build, out a, build up a wall, one high, and then build up the glass on top of that, and then place all the pumpkins. And then, uh, this place is fully lit and we're ready for the actual dirt to, dirt to come in. Okay, I'm not gonna put in slabs, I don't think. I have a whole bunch of sandstone in here, so we'll go switch out. Potions are, yeah, potions are fully gated. Uh, smooth sandstone, sandstone, we can grab some of those. get these yeah yeah so we've played for more than uh, more than a day of like real lifetime in this world on this attempt so I'm, I'm i'm happy with how we're progressing the armor is really good we're almost almost to the point where i want to be i just need to get to level 30 again and then we're Almost there. I don't know if we're fully there because we might have some combines left to do, but basically we're done with armor. <laughs> uh, we're missing one level of looting on the sword, which would also be good before we go and kill blazes because every blaze kill needs to count. All right, so what we have here's the edge. So we'll probably, like, why would we go further than here, really? So we do like this would be the edge with the, the wall on top of it. I think would be good. How big do we make it? Who knows? Fill in these two. Yeah. 
Just want to scan. Maybe this is good enough. Or maybe we'll do a little further. Why did I suddenly feel... Hmm. I suddenly felt a lot more under threat. I don't know why. So this is gonna be actually, like, this is the ground level. But we're placing this down. We'll fill in with dirt in here. Oh, uh, overshot. Uh, so that we can build up the glass wall before we... Uh, where is it? Where is it? It's here. Build up the glass wall before we uh, fill in the dirt. So we kind of make this area safe before we do anything else. Oh. It's just going to be enough. Okay. That's fine. How many bits? It's down below. Uh, it's 55 for creeper. Where did I put the glass? There. Oh, I still have it in my inventory. Cool. GG me. Let's pick up this. Give us more XP as well. This is now still not fully grown, so we'll keep going with this for a bit. Uh, I should harvest these and then pick up the actual jack-o'-lanterns that are done. Have you noticed some slight lag that seems to get... Yeah, I have a little bit. Oh, here. Uh, but we have... 29 pumpkins. That's amazing. Okay, so we can... Let's make these all into jack-o'-lanterns before we go out. Yeah, 99 is for pillager sound. Where do we have that? I think it's in here. It's not. Here. Okay. Nice. So many seeds, too. I don't really know what to do with them. Could compost them or something, but I don't really need that either. Yeah, I had like one lag spike earlier this stream. I haven't really seen much of it though. Like, there are many other causes for lag spikes, especially in this version. I fixed a ton of stuff like this in, in 15. Alright, uh, so that's good. 38 of them. Alright, so what's the pattern? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in between. Yeah, so the fifth one is kind of the center point between them. Um, and I guess we should just go out and start in a corner. I don't need this on my bar. Let's put it where I thought I had it. Makes more sense. So we need jack-o'-lanterns, I guess. Okay, actually, kind of need a couple of doors too, um, to be completely honest. So we need to have a way to get out of here. But let's... Let's build this first. I put it too high first, and then we'll put the third in later. I'm so exposed. I don't think you have the infrastructure to level up a farmer. Uh, we're think thinking about leveling up a farmer for apples uh, before. I could. I have a whole ton of. Um, I have a whole ton of. Um, what is it? Hay bales from way back. So I could do that. Damn it! Would keep scaring me. No. Creepers nope. don't burn in the sunlight. Thank you for the bits. Not falling for it when I'm standing on a glass wall. <laughs> this is completely safe. And with this amount of vigilance looking around. <laughs> but yeah, I could definitely like I could build up a farm if needed and, and make that uh, work if I needed to. 
The problem is, the things I would really want are are all level two or higher, and I don't have a good way of like basically killing villagers and making new ones at this point. So, don't I'm fall do off. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so this is the last layer, We're basically done. I have feather falling and a bunch of protection. I should be able to survive a fall off of this, but I still want to test out the theory. So we won't. This is a three block drop, by the way, in inwards. So that's fine. That's always fine. As long as I get down to the lower level here before I fall. And it's turning nighttime, which is scary, scary times to be here. Down, down, place. Go! Oh no, it's too dark. I left it too late. I don't like it. I don't ever like having the chance of stuff to be fall. 8.5 block drop. Yeah, I know. But I, like, I don't want to... I don't, I don't like testing my ability to, to not die, basically. Alright, so we left it a little bit... Thank you. <laughs> Weirdly specific question, but do you know if a Shalka falls into an end portal get goes to world spawn, but if it's pushed through with a pistol it goes to zero zero, is that an intent game mechanic? It doesn't sound like it to me, but I don't know. Alright, so because we left it a little bit late, I want to go up here and just uh, have a look around again. This area is now enclosed, so it should be fine in daytime, but if there was a spider, it could, like, wander inside. It wouldn't be hostile, but if I just walk into it or whatever. That'd be bad, okay? Bad times. Alright, but that looks okay. So, we should be fine to just put down all the pumpkins. And then start going and getting uh, dirt, but I'm guessing that this is basically fully grown now. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're going to harvest. Don't need the glass anymore. We'll uh, stuff all the glass in here. Uh, don't need pumpkins in here. Block of coal I should have left before. I guess we'll leave the dirt in here too for now. Because we're going to need inventory space. All right, here we go again. <laughs> I put glass down in there so you could see this kind of stuff. There's a guy with uh, with armor. He's fallen. Enchanted armor, so he survived the fall. Not gonna do anything about him. I'm just gonna uh, chill there. It's fine. Would you even see a creeper in the sugar cane? No, I wouldn't, but it's lit up. They can't spawn here. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. The, 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 the noise of the sugarcane is almost so loud that that became, like, inaudible. Jeez. <laughs> this should get us up at least to, like, 20-ish, I would say. And then we're getting pretty close. This is also growing really well, so... The bamboo is definitely more annoying to harvest, though. At some point, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Like, I've dug a, a huge hole to get down to... Uh, to basically to... Uh, diamond level and I wanted to do all the huge uh, dig out there to get stone and materials and then also to clear space to find slime chunks um, Oops, I did not meant to click that um, but Then there just accidentally was a, a, a uh, Cave spider spawner there, which I didn't like Mumble 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 kappa <laughs> Kappa Thank you. Thank you for the bits, man. So at some point I'm gonna have to deal with that spawner. 
if I want to do that, and I really do, because uh, uh, setting up a slime, slime farm would actually be really nice, because um, that would let us get a bunch of stuff that could further our automation quite a bunch. So let's say that we could make this like harvest itself and just you'd only have to replant. That would be so good. And then if we had like a good amount of slime, we could use a bunch of like slime block based stuff. Like we'd even make flying machines or whatever if we wanted. <laughs> I feel like I've missed a bunch. I guess I haven't, but I just weirdly feel like I have. Oh, stop looking at the back of my helmet. Grab these and those, I suppose. Uh, we have one extra. This is not gonna. That's gonna. Wait, wait. I don't even know. Never mind. Is honey easier to get than slime? It would be, but this is 114 still. I don't I don't know if it would be Possibly would be. Yeah, so I did get one left over. Put that in there. Trade in time! Hello my friend. Fifteen. You should restock. Honey's much more effort. Consider the amount of effort it is in Triple H, though. Like, you can't just say that it's much more effort. In general, it's in this dang horror mode that we're talking. Oh. There we go. Do the thing. On the other hand, while making my farm on the fan server, I uh, I got stung a number of times, so you never know. <laughs> and we got 58 emeralds from that one. So we're gonna like emeralds are just like surplus at this point. Imagine if an iron door closing in your face caused player damage. I know. I've actually, like, particularly avoided that happening just because I don't want the heart attack of seeing, like, suffocating inside of a block kind of situation. Alright, so that didn't quite get this to level 20. Do we cut these down? They're still growing, though. We'll leave it for a bit. So much effort. Let's grab the uh, jack-o'-lanterns. Let's grab the dirt. Uh, we still have plenty of time in the day. I was like, why is there a block there? Who's that? The Ender! Hey, thank you for the follow. It is much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Uh, how do we do this? I guess we'll start in the corner. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ooh, uh, mm hmm, uh, mm, mm. This got tricky immediately. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that was safe, but I was not also 100% sure. Uh, okay. What? Uh, should I? I should... One, two, three, four, five. This is the center point. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine here. Have you actually survived this long with half a heart? Correct. Yeah. Uh, we have more than a day's worth of playtime. More than 24 hours playtime inside this world. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, so I think this should cover it. Oh, it should not be here, actually. Herp derp. Uh, they are one block too tall, too high. All of these. Uh. No, wait. No, they are supposed to be here, right? Uh, no, they're supposed to be down on that level. Unless we fill it up one level more, but I don't think I want to do that. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. We'll put them in their appropriate location. <laughs> Oops. 
I'm gonna dig that out while I'm standing on the, the sandstone, not the sand. Uh, this is the same problem again. Uh, that actually does need to be up here, though, because it's the sort of stepping stone up. Actually... Kinda don't need this door anymore. Oh, I never finished up this set either. Um... Let's... Let's do this. Uh, and then we can put it like a staircase there. Uh, or even a slab. Would work. Hey, Magma. Sorry to hear that. If you do feel like that, please do reach out to somebody who can actually help you. There are tons of people who can help you, and there are hotlines and stuff that you can call, so please just reach out to somebody. Trust me, you won't regret. Stupid to take away that door. I'm snuggling with Doggo. Oh, that's nice. I'm snuggling with Kitty, who gave me a gift. Gave me a rabbit's foot. I, you know, I, I'm not the expert. They are. So I can't tell you exactly what, but they, there, there is help to be had. Trust me. Well, I know a lot of people have gone through that kind of times, and there there is really people who can help you. You should put a jack-o'-lantern at the edge anyways. Otherwise- No, because I'll have- Boof. Another Triple H stream, another Creeper Sound Scare. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Hello, mate. Uh, I'll have one in here that should cover that. Maybe doesn't. Let's see. One, two. So it's uh, this. Uh, should be five, four, three, two, one here. Right? So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So if I go smash myself in the way corner, this is as far away as I get. This is eight. E. Okay. The best situation actually would be to put these on the outside, but I guess. There's one, two, three, four. F oh, wait. Yeah, so five, four, three, two, one. It's supposed to be there on that one. What I'm working on, I'm setting up a big place where we can grow trees, because I need. I want to increase my. Um, golden apple supply basically to prep for the nether I think I'm actually gonna do this might as well put it in the like right location quote-unquote why did I okay whatever I have one might as well make it out of sandstone instead of that okay brave digging sand I've checked this in. It's, it's not. It's not that brave. <laughs> so now we should be able to just check the pattern and keep going. So between these, here, should be one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. So in between each uh, pair of pumpkins, we put a dirt block in between. Each pair of dirt blocks, we put a pumpkin. Or jack-o'-lantern. 
and then we need to fill in all the stuff but that's later so now five four three two one jack-o-lantern can't wait till you go get you can go dig dirt oh you sadist <laughs> You just want want me to live dangerously. Uh, golden apples still work exactly like they used to, like they usually do, which is they give you more hearts than your max health. So they will give me exactly the same amount that they do in, in normal. It's it's just you know. Okay. So that's good. Uh, am I actually out? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, so from here, one, two, uh, five, four, three, two, one. I think there, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. And then the same pattern again. So after this is done, this entire space will be 100% spawn proof, which means, uh, yes. Which means uh, I don't have to worry about anything else, essentially. Could have just done that for this one, too. Why didn't I? Weird. All right. Uh, five, four, uh, five, four, three, two, one. This one. Okay. This means we end up in the same situation again, but on this edge. Could have just expanded the thing to include that, but I should have thought about that before putting up the, the glass walls. Hold up. I want to do something here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you for the bits. I'm sorry for being paused while that happened. I just need to do some mod stuff. Let's go. <laughs> I was seeing if you could get it well past. Oh, that it's gone pretty far if that happens. Huh? On the other hand, I do get scared in like all the weirdest look like situations now. The reason I'm like placing all of these straight down, jumping like this, is because it's some of them are on the sand, which could potentially fall. I'm not 100 percent sure that these are all safe. So that's why. Uh ooh, okay. Uh, that's annoying. Okay, a little dangerous, but we'll do it. Yeah, okay, fine. That'll be sand. And then we need to do the same thing here, because uh, four, three, two, one, and then outside. So these actually go here. And it needs to go here to all of these. Uh, and then I need to dig away some glass somewhere for a door, but we can do that later. I guess I need to do that kind of soon. Because... Need to go and get dirt. Uh, that was the last one. We're done. Now we just need to replace all of this with dirt. <laughs> Boo, but not in the pause screen. Thank you. <laughs> let's take away. Let's see. It's noon. I do want to sleep and then go. So I don't want to. I don't want to go when there's not one full day to do this, because, uh, yeah. Leaving and then coming back for nighttime, don't want to stress about it. Really don't. Hey, what is that? Kyle! What's the boo butt? Boo butt. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, my man. 
Uh, so I just realized one thing is I could actually just plant the trees now. Like I can plant trees on all of these dirt blocks. I use them all as markers because I know I'll want dirt there anyway, but since I have them, I might as well tr plant the trees so that they grow while I'm off getting the dirt. No reason not to do that. Also, no reason not to place the rest of this. So we'll just start from here. Actually kinda wanna pull it out this way. Um, where is my, okay. Actually kinda wanna move out to this other side of this and pull a, a thing around the corner here so that we, um, so that we can get grass in here. Yeah. If you put up the door, maybe we'll wait for the door. We can go out the other side. It's fine. Let's do that. Uh, let's go out here. Uh, not there. Here. We need to go out here to get it around. Yeah. This is sketchy. This location in particular. Hey, Rylan. Yeah. yeah, so there's dirt with grass all the way up to here. So what we'll do is... Then it we we'll start pulling them together so that we can get grass. And that's just like, it's not like for any actual use. It's just for vanity. I just want grass. Because it's nicer. Even with the desert coloring, it's nicer. We will not make it far enough to have them actually be able to spread. That's a pity. But yeah, ideally, if I can, it would be nice to like terraform move, the entire move, space. Move. Yep. Ooh, indeed. Yeah. Fun times, eh? We'll, uh, we'll need to deal with that at some points. The cows don't deserve grass. I didn't say I would give cows. Oh, wait, do I not have a button to get in here? Well, well done me. Oof. Actually. Okay. All right, we're not quite ready yet. So I guess let's dump some stuff while we're at it. Oh, not the door. I want the door. Um, so I guess in the morning we go. Yeah, we do. Okay. Sleep time. In the morning we go get dirt. this well I could take these four dirt because I don't need them in here anymore I'll place them out there so the grass can spread while we're doing this we're gonna take a whole bunch of saplings plant them in there and then go maybe that was a little bit too much stuff I should have done before nighttime but whatever we'll do we'll do this now uh, please tell me I have some more saplings I do. Not many, mind, but some. Alright. That's fine. Put that there. Uh, don't really need this. We'll find. We don't need, like, a full inventory. Hey, kitty. Let's 
Let's throw these down here. Okay, water. I, well, I have these. I kind of want some blocks, some hard blocks to be able to put down. Uh, and the site. Here we go. One arrow. Good. Leave that. Oh, we go. I don't really have a good destination, but I think the best thing we can do is go over there. Um, there's a forest there that we've kind of been, or a birch forest that we've kind of been tearing down a bit. So we'll go for that. It's dangerous wherever we go, but at least it's something. Uh, that should be close enough. I mean, it's it has to spread a long distance anyway. That's a cow. Cows are fine. Right, let's just take a look around before we start doing something. That's terrifying. Yeah, this looks okay for now. Oh yeah, I really would like a faster shovel. I'm gonna do this so I have slightly better look around me while I'm occupied doing this. Let me see if something tries to sneak up behind me. Have a less good view on what's underneath whatever I'm breaking though, so I guess we'll try to break it from the side. That's that's actually a little concerning. Duh. Ah, thank you. I accidentally made that into a path block. Because <laughs> I, I right clicked immediately and it made a path block out of it instead of making if instead of holding the shield. <laughs> Ooh, okay, uh, that's good. That gave us more than the stack. That's nice. Let's take away this too, just even this whole place out. It's that little cave thing, I don't like it. Kind of the actual ideal would be to go here later and then just dig away or... Digging <laughs> right next to a forest sounds safe mm -hmm. thank you thank you for the bits um yeah i kind of want to go here and just chop down the entire forest at some point just to get the view up and get the din like lever of danger down but for now we'll just accept it <laughs> need to get more food soon yeah for now we'll accept this TSSSSSSSS. It's the budget version of the creeper noise. <laughs> Slightly less scary, but but thank you for the bits. It's it's good to think practicing playing in third person. I know Phil's is really good at this. He plays a lot in third person in many situations where I would not be able to and like just practicing being able to aim at blocks and stuff in this mode is good because it is very 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 beneficial to be able to see just a few blocks behind you this is how that works classic boom One thing about Triple H, avoiding damage greatly reduces food consumption. Yeah, that's true, but you also you also do want to run. <laughs> so that that is where food consumption still is a big thing. This is good though, we're like still in range of that, so all of this stuff will still grow. Yep, it's fine. But yeah, any time I'm outside of my base is, is very tense. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
very aware that there are things that could happen out here that could essentially just kill us. Just boom dead. Even with all the armor and with all the preparation and with all the, like, terraforming of the area still could happen. Is that more yeah, mob okay. sounds are needed? Yeah, I know, I know. I've um, I've also wanted to do a uh, an arrow hit sound. I just haven't gotten around to it. It's a little harder because it doesn't. It's harder to emulate that. I love that Terry saw always an outpost just on the edge of your vision. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, I like how you put that at the end. I did not see that pop up in chat, and it was like, what the heck. <laughs> The last to have the last of my bits. Thank you, Isella. Much appreciated. Dying in Minecraft to me is a big part of it. With a total of 230 on the fence. Oof. I have four or five on the server. I you play a ton more than I have to, like, but your ratio of uh playtime to death is a lot uh lower. Okay, how are we looking? Pretty good. Should take down the entire of this uh, level, so to speak. We should be good. That's the nitwit. Don't be afraid of the nitwit. That's the cow. Why did I feel like I heard a pillager, but I didn't? Almost sounded like a villager for a second there. Weird. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Fun times. This is good though, like exposing this so it's not a possible spawn space in darkness is also good. Just dig this up. If I don't get all of these dirt blocks, that's fine. Oh, that's where the cat was. I was like wondering why I heard cat noises. <laughs> I guess we can go and get that. Oh no, stop. You cat. I'm sorry. Don't mean to scare you, but I do want these dirt blocks. This isn't the best location to be, and I'm aware of it. Go! We're done. Go back home. That's fine. Yeah, okay, let's do this. And we have a full path back for the grass. We should have it wider, ideally. And I should put a door here, is what I should do. We'll do that later. <laughs> run! Run, Steve, run! Ah! Did you have to? <laughs> Don't mind me just desensitizing you against creepers. Oof. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, though. Here. Okay. Um. SSS. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, nighttime. That's not. SSS. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh not quite yet. Uh, this we can probably tear down in the morning. I don't need to carry the and the side around SS. anymore. SS. SS mate. SS. Whew. SSS. <laughs> what did we get? We got something. We got a rotten flesh. Yay. Thanks, kitty. I'm helping. <laughs> I, I don't get why why it reads I'm as im. It was even like with an apostrophe, so it's actually the correct like spelling of I'm. In I don't German, I don't get that. Horrible word, <laughs> with perfect pronunciation by the TTS, I'm sure. 
Thank you for all those bits, though. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, I guess... Maybe get some more saplings from this? Or some apples. Either... Oh, it's you. Either, either way is fine. I should not be using this axe for this. I should be using this axe for this. Is it possible to get how did we get here in this game mode? It is a stretch. Yeah, it might be, but the, then you have to rely on uh, apples or totems because you do need to eat, to do things that deal damage to you. So um, I would I would consider it virtually impossible. I would be, you know, I would not. I'm not going to go for it. I'm not trying for that. Okay, we got one. I guess. I don't know. Now we don't have the grid anymore, so I guess we'll just place it where it was. Oh. Sticks. Thanks. If you ever get Triple H, how did we get here? You're a legend. Honestly, I kind of feel like just just getting some other stuff in this game mode is good enough. This is why I usually fill the non-tree blocks with wood slash slabs of some kind. Yeah, I mean, but this is not only meant to be... A, a, right now we're going to use it for, for um, trees, but we might be using this for other stuff later. So this is this is part an expansion of the base, part part for actually growing trees. Um, just happens to be right now I need a ton of apples, but I mean, it's also going to be the case that the apples aren't going to help us until we have a ton of gold. So <laughs> it'll be fun. Uh, fine. We might not have enough. I might have underestimated how big this thing is. What did you miss? Uh, you missed going out, me going out and digging off a whole bunch of uh, dirt um, near the forest over there, which was way more scary than it would ever otherwise be. Can you suffocate in a grown tree? Yes. Um, potentially, I could suffocate in in the um, uh, the. the the wood, the logs. I could not suffocate in the leaves, I don't think. But if I if I was standing like inside of it, I, yes, it would be have to be the least lucky thing ever. I think I could take like maybe one tick of the damage given my armor. But... I have lost Triple H in that way, really? Oh man. Oh <laughs> that would suck. My condolences. How much have you played, Emily? Because I know you have played, or you've talked about it, but I haven't seen, like, I've only seen you talk about how you've died, I think. I don't know how, like, what kind of progress you've made. The only other person I know who actually streams it is Thomas, but I know a bunch of others play it. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough, is it? If you haven't extra villager maybe get apples from a villager yeah i know i know i was thinking about that but the problem is it's it's a level or two up so i would have to be like yeah it would have to be like a an unlock and then what if we don't get apples at that level this is my lawn look it's gonna be nice we have a nice little pretty lawn at the front from testing, most trees will pop you out after one tick of suffocation. Yeah, it depends on how centered you are, I think, when they grow. It's definitely not a situation I would like to um, investigate, <laughs> let's just say. 
Alright, so at this point, let's go and just grow all these trees. Yeah, there's three possible trades at that level, I think. Uh, and you get two of them. So there's, like, we would have to be kind of unlucky, but it's possible that we wouldn't get the trade. Definitely possible. So, uh, for the same reason, I'm going to be standing, like, quite far away when, when I grow these. Grow? Eh? Grow. Okay, cool. Now we'll uh, chop them down with the right axe uh, and put the food back on our bar. Wait, do I, I have two dirt blocks. Come on. Tear all of these down. So they're all decaying at once. It's pumpkin, pumpkin pie, and apples at level two. Yeah. So you get two out of the three. And if we're unlucky, then we get the wrong ones, and then uh, we're in this problem of do I, how do I, it's like, do I get rid of this villager? Do I um, just keep doing it and get a new one? I don't really have a setup for breeding them at the moment because they're kind of. Try moving the sapling up one block because you would not. Oh, but so then I would have to jump up and stuff if I want to when I harvest them. So I'm not going to do that. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. We need a couple of snacks more. So maybe uh can't really go and do it now. Okay. Well. I guess what we're doing is we're waiting. Desirable villages to the outpost. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's more sadistic than even I usually am. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll wait for nighttime. Now we'll wait as these these despawn and uh, grab all the the loot as it drops. Why didn't it read that? That's weird. Or? Or just into the tree farm and let them die from trees over time. Oh, okay, it was just extremely slowly. Huh, weird. So we get all we get all of this. Um We'll plant all of these new ones. Have I not got a single apple? No, I haven't. Cool. Um and then uh, we'll go to bed, I suppose. And in the morning, I believe it is time to harvest all of those. Come on. Yeah. Not an apple. I tried having a dual purpose sheep farm dot slash tree farm. They die at a surprisingly high rate, actually. Really? I guess if you'd like squeeze them in, they would more. I guess it's just random anyway, so no reason why they wouldn't. Which also means uh, I would, if I'm not careful, so let's not. That would be a sad way to end this. Very sad way to end this, actually. Uh, so this is inefficient to just put them this far apart, but I don't exactly know how where I would place them to make it more efficient, and I don't really need the most efficient setup. I just want a bunch of trees growing. <laughs> Sliced limes have so far died at a very low rate in this tree farm. <laughs> oh, who is that? Fabian, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for the bits. Uh, we'll leave it as this, we need to go sleep. Uh, I'll put these here. Uh, fine. Stuff these in here too, and those. Inefficient. It is, yes. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> no, it's set up.
stupid cat. Do not like that bug. Uh, so we have some sand to put away. Sticks can go here. My viewers always want me dead. <laughs> uh, this is almost fully grown. It's better to do this one because it's so much more efficient. So we'll do this one first. Without using the axe. This should get us... This will get us to maybe then 25 or something. Maybe we get enough levels out of this and the bamboo to do the one enchant. Then we also have a bunch of... Well, I guess the combines aren't going to be that big of a problem once we have the enchant. Because we don't need... We don't need level 30 for doing the combines. We just need level 30 to give the one last enchant. On the other hand, I still want that unbreaking enchant, so... Unless I have unbreaking somewhere in a in a trade from a librarian. I have so many emeralds I could Who was that? That's a raid from Joel. Welcome raiders. Welcome into uh, my weird little corner of the hardcore world here. Thank you so much for that raid. I hope you had a great stream. This is half-hearted hardcore. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, um, this is a hardcore world with half a heart. You can see my little dancing heart down there. That's actually my only life. <laughs> my, ha my maximum health is pinned at half a heart. Which makes this a little different, the way you play this. Right now I'm trying to get to level 30. Uh, once again, to get like my one final enchant to get my armor back up to, to like the kind of the level I want them to, and the, the thing that we're kind of aiming at right now is to get to the point where I can go into the nether, find a fortress, and uh, start killing Blaze. <laughs> oh my, this is uh, such a scary thing. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're harvesting this to be able to trade it, that gives us a bunch of XP. Uh, this is the main purpose of it right now, I don't really need the emeralds anymore, I have kind of two stacks of emeralds laying about. That's it. Uh, if you don't know me, uh, I do a bunch of news stuff, I do a bunch of streaming, I do a bunch of map making, and my day job is shown on my cape there. Um, I am the technical lead for the development of Minecraft uh, Java. Sort of the back end side of that. But that is a separate thing, and right now I'm just a player being very scared to die. <laughs> I go into F5 mode whenever I try to pick up all this stuff because it's so dang hard to see the items in first person in this farm. I'm sure I missed a bunch. Cured first villages in Skyblock today. Oh, nice! I'm sorry you can't say, but I know the feeling. I usually stream to, to the point where I need to go to bed, so... Definitely know the feeling. Alright, paper out of all of this. But again, thank you very much for the raid, Joel, and uh, welcome to all the raiders. Alright, okay, so we have two left. This leftover stuff goes in here. What's the time? It's about noon. It's raiding time. So, the hope is that this gets us to like level 23, 24 somewhere, it would be my guess. Level 20, that's good. Good start. <laughs> Donated toast, hello. So let me uh, just see what happened there, because uh, a bunch of uh, notifications didn't pop clearly enough for me. Me, Nelly, Dirty Old Dan, and Trish, thank you very much for the follows. Oh, and uh, Lucas. Lucas Pew. Thank you for the follows, Ollie. Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Uh, I, I do a bunch of different things. I do this every Sunday. I do map making every Saturday and I have a fan server that I stream from every Tuesday. Maybe try moving, making the move tree to higher to wait. Yeah, I'm not worried about dying from a tree growing. That, that's what, what we were discussing before uh, you guys raided is uh, I've been making a tree farm out there uh, to get more apples because I want more... Stop pushing me, dude. What, what What's your problem? 
Um... I want more apples to make more golden apples, because if I'm going into the nether, golden apples currently are kind of my only survivability item. Oh, we only got to level 23, but oh, that's fine. Um, put the papers back in there, put the, all even more emeralds in here, I suppose. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, it is actually a case. Uh, and now I have pretty good armor, so I think it would be fine, but it actually a case that if I stood in one of these saplings as the tree grew, I could have- it could have killed me. <laughs> just smack him. Just- just smack him for it. Uh, Alright, time for the bamboo. Would love to do this with my sword, but the sword takes too much damage. Uh, and uh, this- uh, I have an easy access to buy more uh, access with good enchants from a villager, so that's why I'm doing this with uh, the diamond axe instead of a diamond sword. Because the swords break, like, this farm, um, if you just use an iron sword, it's broken before you get a third of the way through. It's ridiculous. Yeah, if I accidentally hit an iron golem, if I accidentally hit a villager, if, yeah, I'm dead, basically. Or I have to abandon my base, which would be bad news. Pause reminder 16 minutes ago. Thank you. Thank you very much. As usual, I'm... What are you up to, kitty? I don't want to hit you. Not because it would have any consequences, just because I don't like hitting cats. Cats are the best. The sound is addictive. I know, right? I know, right? It's fantastic. Both the sound of this and the sound of the um, um, the sugarcane farm are, are bliss. <laughs> this probably, yeah. Inventory full. Hey, can you can you you want to go out? Perfect. Thank you. No, you won't be in the way anymore. Uh, make sticks out of everything. Sticks, more sticks, and more sticks. Uh, can I get some more from here? Yeah, I could. Uh, how to enable bits? People can donate on my channel. You need to hear. You need to get uh, affiliate with the Twitch. That's what unlocks bits. And then you need to turn it on. But I believe that's like in the onboarding for affiliation. But you, there's a number of like. Um, Oh, that sound is nice. Uh, it might be after working hours, in which case that guy won't be restocking now. So we'll go trade with the other Fletcher we have. Um, you need to have a number of concurrent viewers. You need to stream X days per week and st Ugh, let me out. It's pissed off and that kind of that kind of there's some metrics. It's listed on your Twitch page. Page is like a road to affiliate kind of thing. Uh, but yeah. That's what enables bits and subs and uh, a bunch of other things. Ah, uh, got some time. I've been considering switching to a keyboard and mouse instead of a controller. What flavor? Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Like, um, I'm using one of the, the funky Logitech uh, mice with like a really weird shape. It's definitely not the thing for everybody, but I I really like it. A lot of people swear by mechanical keyboards. I don't like them because I record, <laughs> so I don't want the noise. But a lot of people really like them. I use a, an older model of a keyboard that isn't mechanical. But so before mechanical keyboard became such a buzzword, there were some keyboards that were made that were a lot that were really good, but they weren't mechanical. And now it's like every keyboard has to be mechanical. So I don't know. I'm maybe an outlier in that. Mechanical keyboards are really nice, though, if you don't like if you don't have to consider how much noise they make. Alright, we're inventory is full again, and it's about night time. I guess we'll just make the sticks, and then we'll sleep, and then uh, we'll trade in the morning and keep 
harvesting. Ideally, by the end of today's stream, we're kind of in a state where at least, at the very least, we're ready to hit the nether and to get to the fortress. Mechanical keyboards don't have to make any noise at all. Uh, they do make some noise. And when you start recording with a sensitive mic, you kind of you kind of see the difference. Oh no. Sleep. Oh, hello shield. <laughs> oh, you got something. Cat gave us something. Get off the bed. There, you can sit over there. Uh, you got a rotten flesh. That's fine, I suppose. We're using the cats to get morning gifts because they can give you like uh, some very valuable things. Uh, they can give you most importantly oh will you not you haven't restocked um they can give you uh, phantom membranes which is super good because there's no way i'm taking on a phantom in this uh why you're gonna lock up pretty soon there we go well level 25 let me out let me out champ Uh, I guess we'll do this for now then. Put these away. Now we're up to. Oh. Okay. This is just too full. <laughs> Can't put stuff in there anymore. Turtle Kier and uh, Moitswan. That's how I would guess that that's pronounced. Thank you both for the follows. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. The cat's sound meow sounded like a like Yoshi. <laughs> really? I didn't, I didn't think about that. Alright. So now we need to pick up all of this, tear down the rest of this, replant it all before we trade the last. Because uh, it actually takes like three stacks or something to replant the whole thing. So we need to be make sure that we have enough. I have one stack in um, reserve that I put away because I before, when I had the uh, little temporary farm, I kept forgetting to save some, so I had several situations where I almost um, used up my entire supply of bamboo, and I wouldn't have any left. That would have really sucked. <laughs> I had to... Um, I had to regrow the farm from just one at one point, I think, or I had two left or something. Basically, I have one left over because it was like, I couldn't make sticks out of it, because it was only one. Um, so that's a major whoopsie. Get all these if I can. Okay, that's good. Why not sword on the bamboos? Because uh, I have no easy access to swords. And it, it uses up so much durability on swords that the, an iron sword isn't enough to harvest the entire farm even once. And I don't want to use up diamond swords. And I have a, a, a tree. I have excess amounts of uh, emeralds and I have an, a trade for a, a diamond uh, well this this trade basically for an unbreaking two efficiency two diamond axe so I'm just using that because I have easy access to it and basically free because I'm trading mostly to get XP at the moment anyway and I'll have huge amounts of reserves of emeralds so might as well use them up for something useful I wish I could unlock a weaponsmith but it's not really feasible at the moment That would that would be awesome, and then the sound would be even better. <laughs> okay, that's good. My two thousand baby. <laughs> it's interesting. You're just stuck in your own like point of view always. That uh, like seeing people who are, who are born and. At very different times. It's always interesting to me. This is the more, most hardcore thing I've ever seen. I mean, yeah, I guess you can't really get more hardcore than this. <laughs> you can do ultra hardcore on this. It would change it slightly, slightly, slightly. But not much. Uh, thank you for the follow, too. I hope you keep enjoying the stream. Alright, so... Now the rest of this can be made into sticks to trade. Uh, it should be late enough in the day that they've restocked. Go pick up the rest of this. Oh, we got one left over, so fine. Uh, grab these, put that away. Please trade. Yep, it's fine. 
we will not get level 30 from this, so we'll need to go another rotation of doing other stuff. Probably go and get more dirt, finish up that area out there. At least we got through level 25 into 26. Okay, that's all we get. So we got into 26, it's really slow this high up, but it's fine. This song is forever long. <laughs> it's four minutes. It felt like an eternity, but okay. Uh, we should put the sticks away. Then we have those. Uh, I think we'll go up and take a look around before we go out, because I haven't really, like, checked the area for a while. Alright. So this, uh, if, if you haven't seen it before, we built a dark room spawner. Uh, and, uh, yeah. We're getting a bunch of stuff from it, and then we built this tower. This is our, like, AFK spot. Nothing will spawn down, but a lot of stuff will spawn in there. So if we really need a bunch of that material, we can sit up here. Uh, how did I get the diamond armor? I traded for it, mostly. Um, I don't think... I made some parts. I did mine once I got fortune, but mostly it's trading materials. So we kind of want to go over there and uh, tear down some of that dirt over there. Or maybe, uh, yeah, that, that'll that be fine. I just want to kind of check the area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Check the area to make sure that we don't have a patrol somewhere. Patrols are the, the, like the major concern in this mode. Thank you, Banapants, for the follow and uh, Platinpus. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome to the stream. How long have you survived in this world? Maybe about 26, 27 hours at this point, I think. That's the nitwit. The nitwit is fine. There's like one nitwit that got left out when I walled in my base, and he's been walking around there, chilling ever since. There's also an iron golem that's outside somewhere that I have no idea where it walked off to. So I don't, I'm not seeing anything dangerous. We still have some time, so let's go get the rest of this dirt. Because why not? Grab these while we're at it. I actually kind of wanted to tear down these trees first, but I don't really think I have time for it. Uh, go away. Cacti are dangerous. I would dead in half an hour. <laughs> you gotta a little bit like relearn how to play the game. Ooh, grass is spreading. Come into my lawn. But yeah, uh, it becomes much more dangerous. All right. Hey, kitty, you're still hanging about here. Come on. Oh, should do this again so that I see a little better around me if something is approaching. What are you up to, cat? We needed, like, I would guess if we get, like, three stacks, we're fine. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. But I guess we'll just... Oh, God. <laughs> Creeper might be creeping. Thank you. Thank you for... <laughs> thank you for the bits. Thank you for the warning. You're <laughs> oh. digging this pathway through here. And then once we hit the other end, we'll start tearing down the left, left uh, the right hand side part of this. Okay. If we need to, I don't know how much this give. That's one and a bit stacks. Still not enough, I don't think. But we'll keep going. Okay, that was something in the music to sound like a zombie. I'm not scared. I would never. Oh, it's starting to hit nighttime. We will not get enough, I don't think. Okay. Get this. Grab the rest of this row and then we'll go back home. I do not want to be caught out. <laughs> 
too late for a good scare. Thank you. <laughs> and yes. That scare was... Uh, it wasn't that bad. It looked worse down in the forest, but it was fine. I think we'll go in. We'll um, chop down the trees. Start getting them to despawn. Then it's probably nighttime enough to sleep. And then we'll get up in the morning, put the rest of the dirt down and get all the drops. And hope I actually get a dang apple this time. Because last time I tore all of them, all of them down, I got not a single apple. Which is sucky. At least I'll have a lot of wood after this. Always something. And yeah, this pattern of uh, jack-o'-lanterns is a guarantee that nothing can spawn here. It's actually a little late to be doing this. think it's worthwhile. This base is safe, but... I have one tree left. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's do it. Let's go to bed. Go now. Go now, quickly. Cat, bed. You could use a fortune tool on the leaves. It isn't time efficient though. That's true. I kinda don't wanna use up the fortune tool. I don't need that many apples. And I still have stuff to do here, so I think it's fine. Hey, there's one. We'll put down the rest of this dirt. Awesome. How far? Oh, we're you're gonna be so close. Maybe, maybe we'll just just about make it. So I'm trying to make this kind of expansion of my base into sort of my garden kind of thing, front garden thing. So that's why we have a string of dirt going around the corner there to get us some grass here to make it look a bit nicer. I don't want I don't want to just just survive here. I'm gonna have some flair, make it look a little bit good. Like some things like the glass walls, we just have to ooh, don't step on the sapling, it could kill us. <laughs> uh but there's no reason for me to not at least have a little bit of a nice lawn. Okay, so we got three apples then. I did say that I wanted at least eight golden apples. So we still have a ton of mining to do to get that. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Yeah, I got three apples. Alright, so let's plant a bunch. We'll, we'll replant in the same pattern. I don't I don't care if it's not the most efficient. It's kinda nice. It gives us space in between them. So uh, I This this is our way. It accidentally became that, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> That's all, I think. I didn't notice this. Did the Wednesday stream shift to Tuesday streams? So the Wednesday streams used to be a thing because uh, I I like a stream instead of doing snapshot videos if there wasn't a snapshot. The problem was that there very, very often are snapshots. So basically we ended up in a situation where on paper, I had Wednesday streams, but in practice, I didn't. So, changed it to Tuesdays. And that also, because that meant that I basically never played on the fan server. On stream, at least. Um, which sucked. So, I like playing there. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do the last few. Have I been to the nether yet? There's your answer. I've been to the nether, I've been in, I've basically looked around a little bit, grabbed some quartz uh, and used that, but I've not traveled in the nether. And uh, I don't know how much I've left. I might be out of quartz. 
Uh, so that's been a concern for a while. All right, so we ended up with the... Uh, how do we end up with exactly a stack of dirt to spare? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, um, place that in this random chest, I suppose. All right, three apples. I don't think I had it enough, no. So we do need to, I guess we'll put them here. We do need to get down into the depth and mine a bunch more, which is always fun. This pickaxe is about to run out. I have a fortune one somewhere chilling there. So we need that almost to the point where we need more food. Now, not quite, but almost. Um, I should have, I, oh yeah, these 17 chicken. <laughs> it's funny, these 17 chicken are all from morning gifts from cats. That's fantastic. Um, so I'm going to uh, cook those, or at least 16 of them, to be a little efficient. So we get more food. Uh, I don't want to go down and mine when it's noon anyway, so we'll kind of figure out something else to do in the meantime. How do you not have silk touch yet for the grass? Silk touch is kind of useless for me. So I'm going very to specifically for the things I need in the challenge. And silk touch is normally awesome, but like, what do I need it for? Like, maybe pick up grass? Maybe mine gravel without getting flint? Those are kind of the things. I don't really need it. How long do you live stream? So often? I don't quite understand that question. What is my goal? I'm treating this as basically uh, get as far as possible, do as much as possible. I definitely want to kill the Ender Dragon. I definitely want to kill Wither. I want to set up a beacon, you know, I'm going to get far. So one thing I could start doing is I wanted to make this a staircase. Oh, that's sketchy. I think I have, yeah, I had some stairs there. Four stairs there. These, these chests are a mess. Let me just start doing this to make it easier to traverse this. Good job. Well placed. Because we have some time and I don't want to go down in mine. Uh. Just be a little careful here. Should trade for another pickaxe too. Just to have an extra. The, the pickaxe trade also is terrible, if I recall correctly. Like I um you unlock the last thing you unlock is a is a pickaxe and the, the one I got is really terrible. I think it's just this one, like it efficiency one and nothing else. So that's sad. I got really bad luck on all of the almost all of the armor trades and almost all of the tool trades in this. Uh but on the flip side I got really good luck on all of the uh, um, book trades from librarians. So, I mean, I, you can't really be unhappy with that. This might not be enough stairs. Oops. Let's try to get this all the way up. Th this place is very... Uh, not enough. Okay, cool. Let's jump up again then. Um, yeah, the uh, the the whole corridor and the whole mine down there is lit up far too too much <laughs> for considering what's needed. So I'm not afraid of stuff down there really. Uh, I do have a stone cutter somewhere. Where is it? Did I, did I move that over here as well? I did. We can put this down now. We don't really 
there's no reason to not do that. I need more of the same type of sandstone would be nice. I have three of this and five of that. And it's a little bit useless. I'll have some nine of that, but still not enough. Oh, there we go. How much is that? I don't know. Grab half a stack of these, maybe? Let's try that. That should be enough. Uh, miss stuff again. Big Buck and uh, Daniel Bowens. Thank you for your follows. Welcome to the stream, and I hope you will enjoy your stays. Eleven to spare, so that's nice. Now it's much nicer to go down and up. Uh, it's always good to try to find those kind of in-between projects that you do when you kind of have a little bit of time to spare, but not so much. I'm not usually into hardcore, but really enjoying this. Thank you, man. We'll run for fun. Thank you for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. Glad you're enjoying it. How would you be able to kill the weather? You'd glitch it. You'd... Yeah. <laughs> Get it stuck into a block. <laughs> There's no way I want to fight the weather fairly. <laughs> hey, cat lay down. I think it might have... No? We got the, got the gift. Nice. Ah. Rabbit hide. Not bad. Those are useful. Uh... I have no idea what that was coming about. The, the dragon. The dragon. Oh, hey! Hello there. Do you want to come in? Come in. Thank you. Leave your llamas outside. Uh... Maybe buy a vine just to have one? I don't think I have any. Is any. If we have one, we could grow them. I don't have any vines there. Let's see where else I would have one. Let's buy a vine. You lost your llama, so there's some leads laying about, so waiting for it to be picked up. We'll buy that. That's good. Uh, don't know if I care about spruce, but we'll buy one because that gives us infinite more. If I ever want one. I'm not sure that those pop up. That's cool. Uh, let's go pick up those leads. That's one. No, that's two. Okay, cool. Uh, you played on... It's called Twitch server. No, so what he has is a mod that uh, that gives uh, that puts all of his subscribers their names into his game, um, and gives us uh, this jungle. Yeah. Wow, someone actually traded with the Freely Dude Kappa. <laughs> I know, right? This is like one of the few modes where it's actually useful. Your armor, uh, where's the other dude? Uh, so, uh, yeah, I know. But Spruce can also grow one wide, which is what we're going to use in that case. Yeah, so we'll buy one more of these. It sucks, but we'll do it anyway. Gives us a little bit of XP too, so it's fine. As long as it can grow one wide, we're fine with it. So let's go down and mine. Um, so what Iskel did, because if you sub to him, uh, you end up becoming a little useful item or something that can spawn your avatar into his world. Uh, which is cool, but I'm not a sub of Iskel. So what he did is, did his, 
he gifted me a sub when I, I raided him at one point. And uh, so he gifted me a sub so he could get my face into his game and make me his slave. <laughs> That's his goal for you. Uh, okay, so let's keep going. Hey, right away, awesome. This girl's a great dude, great dude. This is this is not Funcraft. I was talking about Funcraft though. Uh let's put this on our bar so we can use it. But somebody said uh, they recognized my name from Iskal, and that's that's where I've been sort of Included I in this one trader a lot on the fan server. Coral blocks, red sand, the first sea pickles, slime balls. When you don't have a farm, saplings that you don't have yet. Nautilus shells, pot sol. Yeah, Nautilus shells would be great. Trade Love not those. travel. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Um, I tend to, I tend to not trade that much with them. But they do have some things that are very useful. But but on uh, like on the fan server, it's really rare that I have a need of any of those things. Like here, I will buy slime balls, like my life dependent on it, because I have really no other good way um, of getting them. But on the fan server, I have all the slime I need, and people sell it and stuff. So. Keep me stuck this one. Yeah, it was so funny because uh, I just raided it, and he was—he was so eager to show me how Funcraft works that he gifted me the sub, and then like basically made him, made me a, a little slave in the game. It was fun times. Do I have it mending on any any of my equipment? No. Trader is also extremely useful for skyblock type maps. Like sky yeah. chest. Here oh, yeah. an advertisement for my amazing Minecraft map called <laughs> Sky Chest. It's a really hard survival challenge in which you blah blah blah. <laughs> Ooh. Lag spike, that's not good. Uh thank you for that. Uh che sky chest does seem very interesting to me, but it kind of seems like the kind of thing that I need to play. I don't know when. I don't know when I would have time for that. It's, it seems it seems not only hard but also incredibly time consuming. Grab all of those. Might as well. So what I do is I keep this level so that I can keep walking this way. And then keep lighting it up so that everything is lit like crazy. Lava? Was there a lava sound? That's fine. But yeah, it is uh, it is very uh, useful for sky, sky block and Let's stuff. Let's make this a challenge which one of us will first find the time to play that map. Do you think one of us will play before 2025, D? Oh, I, I have no idea, dude. <laughs> uh, how much longer will we be streaming? Um, what time is it? Probably at least one and a half hours, I would say. Uh, death by random silverfish block. Uh, we're in... What? Birch forest? So, like... I've made sure I don't do this in any direction where there's mountains, but on the other hand, I'm not, like, super vigilant, so it's possible. Could happen. My guess would be that I would react quickly enough uh, and that my armor is strong enough to take one hit from it. Possibly. But you don't know. Never know. There's always a risk in Triple H. But yeah, I've I've one of Zap absolutely stayed away from mountains and, and mining in mountains because of that. Skyblock Triple H easier or harder than normal triple H. 
Depends on what your goal is, I suppose. Not necessarily easier. But a normal Triple H will kind of push you to do more things than you wouldn't do in Skyblock. One more gold. What did I get? Six. Um, so that's not even one apple. Now they're getting iron, which is good because I, I was kind of running out of iron. If I end up at the point where my anvil breaks, that's kind of bad. Uh, let's put this down. Take take a look at the time. Ooh, we're getting late. Getting late in the day. Hmm. Getting started might be more hard in in uh, Skyblock version. Wait, did I? I feel like I've gone a long while. Did I miss the... No, it's up there. Oh, it isn't straight. So that's good. Up we go. It's a traitor, okay. It was like I heard an unknown sound. What are we at? We have the time to just quickly dash up here and take a look around. Just just for safety. And then we'll come down. <laughs> yeah, it saves me saves me the four gold and the inventory space, so I like it. Nothing out there. Okay, let's go down to sleep. Llamas are just chilling out there. <laughs> go, kitty! Ah, go! There! Hey! Grrr. No, we sat up! So if you don't know about it, this, this is kind of details you find out when you play this kind of mode, because you have to know everything. If the cat sits by itself, by its own decision, then you don't get a morning gift. <laughs> uh, I need to dump some stuff. Dump some of this. These we can use, but okay. Uh, I do need coal. I'm gonna smelt some of this stuff. Grab that. Do this. And that. And actually, let's stack some of this stuff up. Yeah, so much redstone. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah. I guess... Uh, whatever. We'll place these in here for now. And then go down. Is there a way to prevent the cats from sitting? Uh... Works as intended? We open it up again. <laughs> Look at the bug. It, it may may or may not be the case that I have a fix pending for this. <laughs> uh, I don't need the coal with me. Uh, do we care about the apples now? I don't think we do. We got three already. We're way behind on gold. Uh, I guess we'll keep going this way. Keep going until we find a reason to not go this way. I didn't look at it. Yeah, we reopened it like uh, earlier this week.
Flame does not confirm or deny what's coming. <laughs> nice. Okay. Guess that took out a torch, so just double down on it. Oh, there it goes. Next! Give me gold already! <laughs> yeah, we did. That's true, Nano. <laughs> I also play a whole bunch, which is a good combo. More redstone is nice, we get XP, so that's really cool. It's actually extremely useful right now, but uh, what I most want is gold. Put it back. Don't. I guess we can keep the water bucket on here. We'll, we'll keep this. Cave update confirmed. I saw. I saw a developer play, and he was in a cave. Well, he was in a strip mine, but it was kind of a cave-like thing. So cave update. Come on. Gold! There's lava popping right right in front of me. Yep, there it is. Okay. That means that this pathway is done. Our cave update jokes also made at the office. <laughs> uh, thanks for the bits. I will not uh, I will not comment on what goes on within those walls. <laughs> Strip mine update confirmed. Nice. <laughs> we need a chicken update. Actually kind of do want to rearrange here somewhere. What do I do? Maybe I sacrifice. No, maybe, maybe we'll keep it like this. Maybe we'll actually switch the pickaxe back and forth when I need it. I mean, keep your secrets. <laughs> uh, one, two. Oh, I already started another one. What? What? Oh, this is the one I did last time. Okay, we'll go down here now. Vein miner update. That's unlikely to happen. Well, technically, the nether is caves, so... <laughs> You're right, this isn't chosen. Please, gold. Nope. Okay. Fun times. Well, God Armor return. Who knows? Who knows? Basically, all the known combat update stuff is in those combat snapshots. <laughs> oh, I like the meme motto. Well, I'm just putting down these this way because it uh, it's kind of a uh, it showcases where my way up is. Uh, we still have time, I think. So one, two, uh, ah, lost count. Too much stuff. One, two, three, and here. This is where we're going. Let's maybe double check just for safety. I really quite not that good check of the time right now. Uh, just after noon, so that's good. Oh, here we go. More redstone. Don't mind if I do, which... Okay, so that's fortune on now. This is dangerous. 
troll, troll redstone. Really? Was it actually just one? That seems unlikely. Huh. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> Oh yeah, you saw the the, the pictures. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, switch them back. Don't use this pickaxe. Just want gold. There's no way of trading for anything gold, is there? Could I trade for anything that gives... <laughs> Still unfortunate to pick. Thank you. Thank you, robot. Oh! Stream delay made me realize before you said it, but thank you nonetheless. Okay, so we got six before, we got six now, so we're 12, so we have one and a half golden apple. Maybe I'll have to settle for less. I don't... Don't really like that. I mean, a lot of what Triple H is about is about persistence and the stubbornness and like the ability to grind, <laughs> kind of, over being. I don't know. That that's a, a part of it is being like really smart and knowing a lot of the game, but that's also a big part of it. You can buy golden carrots. It doesn't help me so much, but it's a good point. Did I switch? I did. Only two? Nope. There's a tip for you. Dig around, because you often find continuations of the veins like that. Okay, well, I... So, I could go to the nether. Um, likely what's gonna happen... Need gold? Just change the game code so bells smelt down to gold ignits. <laughs> oh, so that's, uh... Oh. Here's a tip for you. Creepers can show up anywhere. Gold! Thank you very much for those bits. Um, that's called modding the game, and we don't do that here. Uh, 14, so we now have 20 gold in total. So that's two and a half apples. Should check the time. Oh, it's time to get up. It's not money if you do it during work hours. Uh, I got the joke, yes. The, the, ooh, it's darker than I would have hoped that they would be. Yikes. Yikes, yikes. Oh, it's really dark. Oh, crud. Not good. Ooh. Ooh, 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 Get up, cat. The nice part about this is we do... Uh, thank you for the bits. We do have uh, the iron golems in here, which is always good. We got another rotten flesh. Hello there. Yeah, one of the iron golems would maybe... Uh, maybe because we've concentrated all the villagers out here. Now they maybe don't go over there yet anymore. Actually, what I should do is I should go up and double check the surroundings now. Uh, because I was late up there. You ignored you last break reminder, just saying. I know, on purpose, but thank you.
Oh, look a pigment. Gold. Hmm. True. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the bits, everybody. Um, there's that. That's actually appealing. Um, could do that. Could do it safely because it won't spread because it's just one. Could stand this far enough away. But still. <laughs> you get a ton of bits, so I'll have some more. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nano. Not seeing any. Oh, it's a sapling. I was like, what is that? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. So maybe it was still too early for things to spawn. Because the problem is, if I stay up at night time, stuff can spawn like creepers uh, or husks that don't burn. And then when I go up much later, they're still there. Which, yeah, that's a problem. This looks fine though, I'm not seeing anything. Also not seeing any patrols, which is good. Alright. Cool. So... Put the stuff to smelt. Oh, uh, do all the things that I forgot. So pick up, pick up, pick up more of that. Make blocks of redstone. Stash that away. Should probably harvest this now. It's probably time. Huh? Uh, so we only have four iron. Okay. Um. We'll leave that in. Um, yep, let's put stuff away and let's go harvest. This is cool. Got an appropriate amount of cobble again. Because uh, I still need to continue the base floor. Kind of over there. Oh god. So much stuff here. Uh, it's fine. We'll do this. Just reset the clock. Wait, what? Ah, screenshotting. This actually should give us the last levels we need. There's a weird sound that I did not. I don't see a. You also have a looting sword. I missed that comment. That was a good comment. Yeah, I could kill the pigmen with arrows and shoot it from afar while holding the loading sword. I'm a bit afraid though, because if Can um, you see a patrol in there? I knew that would happen. Thank you, thank you for the bits. Um, I'm a bit worried because the guy is standing right next to the portal, which means he could go through. So if I shoot him with an arrow, he becomes mad, and then if he just gets knocked, knocked back, or if his AI starts kicking in and he steps into the portal for one re reason or another, then I would now have a, a very angry pigman waiting for me when I step into the nether. So I think I'd rather not. <laughs> This uh, this challenge or game mode or whatever you want to call it is very much about like trying to f consider every single little consequence. I've managed to destroy that one for some reason. All right. The salient one. Thank you for the follow. Oh wow. Uh, should make that some other type of block. Uh, I'm gonna do this. And we'll go and grab the rest before we do something about it. Because there's tons more than there usually is. I think I've left it longer than I usually do. And then usually there's like some on only two high. And now there's like all of them were three. Because this is tons of sugar cane. Should really get us to, to level 30 then. When we trade all of this stuff. Which is awesome. Because then we can get the last piece of armor that we want. 
finally. And then it's just a question of a few combines and getting unbreaking on our shield. Then we're perfectly set. And then the golden apples. <laughs> well, the golden apples are kind of a different thing. All right. Paper time. Okay, I guess we trade. Uh. Uh. You. Give me. What? 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 Oh, because my inventory is full. That's. That's a weird glitch. It was more full, but not to that extent, I don't think. See a platinum puss? Are you gonna restock? Yeah, you did. Level 29. Almost there. Please give me... Please give me 30. I would really love to do that enchant. There we go! Okay, awesome. Uh, so we're gonna do the enchant right away. Uh, I guess we can pick this up. Um, do that, so we have that done. Put the rest of this back, pick up those. Grab the shoes, grab the lapis, Let, let's go. Let's do the thing. Oh, got Death Strider. We don't need to put the book on then, that's awesome. Uh, so we don't need that. Put the Feather Falling on, and then we're gonna switch into these. Protection, 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 and we have the full thing that we wanted. Awesome, Feather Falling, Death Strider protection. See you, Dano. Yeah. Cool. So we're switching protection three and unbreaking three on those, and protection protection three and feather falling four on those to protect projectile protection four. So that's a direct upgrade and uh, protection protection four on these. So now we have three pieces of maxed out protection four and one piece of maxed out project projectile protection four, which. When we hit, when we head into the nether, uh, we're gonna switch for these ones, fire protection. So we're gonna, uh, when we're in the nether, we're gonna have a fire, maxed out fire protection on one and three pieces of maxed out protection. And when we're in the overworld, we have three pieces of maxed out protection and one piece of maxed out projectile protection. Awesome. That is fantastic. We also need to combine the helmets. So this helmet needs to be combined with the one we're wearing. And then, I have something else? We need to put mending on a couple of things. We should probably put mending on the shield as well, which means I need to buy another mending book, because it's going on a couple of the tools. Uh, could do another enchant on to get uh, the pushback thing on the bow. That wouldn't be bad. Um, other than that, we're looking for another looting. I should maybe maybe and and unbreaking is what we need. Why do I feel like I'm short? It's <laughs> weird. Uh, I... Those are basically the only things I care about. Maybe we'll try this thing. Uh huh. Disenchant ones you no longer need. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but this, so the thing is, these, uh, no, uh, these actually might be useful. Like, consider the case when, if we need to switch away something, then we kind of maybe want these again. So, I don't know. <laughs> okay, stand up, little kitty. We're going to bed. Oh god. That's very realistic. Cat in face. Oh, another uh, rotten flesh. Nice. 
Yeah, you got some spider size. Eyes, nice. This is filling up. <laughs> so much gunpowder. String we could trade, but we don't really need to anymore. Alright, so what do we need to actually actually combine these? That needs to go here. So yeah, we need 18 for that. I guess we'll just do it, and then we're done with our... Disenchanted Death Depth Strider book? Maybe. I can give so little, and it's a really good book. So in case I actually end up wanting to like redo some piece of equipment or something. It's so much better to just keep it. Alright, so we're looking for Unbreaking 3 on a book, or Looting... Th looting 2 on a sword. That will give me... If I make a diamond sword, uh, diamonds for here, that will give me probably looting two, which I can combine into the other one. So that's worthwhile. Because looting three, yes please. Yeah, so it, it even gives me looting three. But we have level five, so we have some work to do. <laughs> it's fine though. We, we have enough of other stuff to do also. What? Doesn't have a grindstone. What are you talking about? I've been using it a ton. But I'm also planning forward and not just like grindstoning up whatever. But yeah, eh. Let's see actually. Oh, was that one of the missing ones? Interaction with grindstone? Oh no. I think that got fixed, but it might have been after this. I've been using it a ton anyway. Okay, so that's cool, but that does put us in the situation where we need to grind a whole bunch of XP again, which is sad. I should just double check what the book is, because if a book on level like 2 happened to be a looting 2, then it would have been better. <laughs> but it's fine. Let's not. Anyway. This is perfect. You don't have a weaponsmith? That's true. Alright, so what's the status of this? 20 gold. Where did I put the apples? Did I put them in here? I did. That's silly of me. Should have put them in here. Yeah. Those. Okay, six gold apples. So we only have one more apple. <laughs> What's this grass doing? It's not even around the corner yet. What? What? Wait, wait. Could you ask someone to fix the statistics UI so numbers don't morph into each other when longer than a certain length? Oh, I see what you mean. The, the UI needs a bunch of work. That's kind of a known issue. If you mind over a million blocks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you have a bug to report, report it on a bug tracker. That is always the best way. Not just because I don't like like talking to people and having people tell me about bugs, but because like Apple. But because I'm not perfect at remembering things, and there's a ton of things that I need to remember for work. So, the best place to actually track things that are bugs, shock, is the bug tracker. <laughs> okay, so... We got our the a couple of apples, so that's good. Probably need to mine a bit more. Okay. 
put some of these back. But I want to, I want some of this to despawn before I start placing them. I guess that doesn't matter. You start placing them already. Because they don't grow that fast. So, start putting them back. I do still want to be careful where I step, though, so I don't step on one. Because they, if they grew, it could kill me. I haven't tested it, but... And it's, it, it's not maybe likely at this point, but it could. And I want to avoid all those kind of accidental, very silly deaths. Suffocating in a tree would be uh, the worst. The absolute 100% worst. <laughs> That's, it's, if it's a problem, it's very likely already on the tracker. I would say, because we go through all the new reports, and uh, I would say that the new ones are never a big problem. New things tend to be extremely nitpicky things, unless it's when we are like in the development of a new version, when people actually do find new things in those versions. But like this version has been out for a while, and uh, 115 has been out for a while, so. There won't be, you won't find a big bug in that, and then it's not already reported. That's just not a thing. There's just too many people playing the game and reporting bugs. My statistics are always messed up on the fan server. I can see that, because your statistics are all crazy. A mouse pointer? Okay, weird. Uh, I guess we'll put those away. All right, so now we have four, four apples, six golden ones. If I get to ten, it would actually be fantastic. Would like the uh, the looting three sword before I go into the Nether, but we take these down. I guess we do. After that, though, this. Inventory is fine. It's not the best, but it's fine. You go through all the new. We go through all new confirmed reports. So we essentially do that, Fabian. Oh! These do tend to lag spike a bit, but there's also a known issue. That is a damn pillager. It is. There's a known issue where pillagers actually, patrols actually do cause performance issues in this version. Okay, so this is an interesting situation again. Rid of all this for now. Yeah, there's several of these. This might be the same gang, or it might be a different one. What? Pillager? Where? Right there. Okay. Um. Well. That does put us in an interesting situation. We can't really deal with it right at this moment because it's about to run out of daytime here, so we kind of need to go to bed. On the other hand, these guys are chilling out here, and I saw some of them, like, being down in a little hole behind it. Ugh. What? What? I'm seeing that message. Oh, there it was. It's super slow. Weird. Let the creeper deal with them. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, thank you for all those bits. Um, also, uh, is that Mitch? Lebg, thank you for the follow. I, I have no idea on a better pronunciation of the name, so I'm guessing that. Um, 
the big problem with these dudes is I can take them out from here. Not really big problem. But if I do, especially if one of them is the patrol leader, which I can't really see now. I guess I could take out all of them that aren't the leader. I really don't want to start a raid on this place, is the thing. But I think what we'll do is we'll go up there, we'll break out one of the pieces and shoot them from up there. Oh no, it got in. Quick fight it. Nope. <laughs> but thank you for the bits. <laughs> You just sit over there. What state are we in? Let's, this is fine. This is fine. Ooh, this is a little bit open, more open than I would have liked to be honest. But I should make like a glass platform up here or something, so that I can stand and shoot. Okay. Ah, oh, no, I don't have an angle. Dang it. Okay. Times I need blocks. All right. Well, I guess this means that we are actually going to be using one of these apples. There's no none more for it. I need to go out there. All right. Put one more on our bar so we have it ready, and out we go. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, okay. Of course, that has to be a covered angle then. And this is sketch as heck. All of this is made out of sketchiness. This seems okay. Get an angle from here. Nope, you die now. That was just one of them, though. I saw the other ones dipping. Oh, I see you now. Oh, you all have enchanted both crossbows. What is this? Okay, so strictly speaking, I think I only saw two. I don't like this. Behind you. Oh boy. Oh, there's the, the ravine here. So this is obviously where I killed one of them. Where's the other one then? I know I missed shots from that. No, maybe I hit... So the other one's there. Alright. Still have a bit of time on this golden apple. We're gonna, we're gonna risk... Peeking over the edge here. Oh, of course you were down there. You little git. Oh, this is horror. That's the golden Needs apple gone. More dramatic music. No, it really doesn't. I should not be shooting you. Oh, wait, you can't have thorns. So it's fine. God dang it. This is just the worst. There's no angle there. And these are these blocks are all floating. Everything is horrible. Alright, we have the we have the hearts. The hearts. That's where you're chillin'. That is where you're chillin'. Did you die? You did. How about your pal? Standing on floating blocks. I know. I hate it. Can you stop hiding where I, there's impossible there's no angles. Ah! Stop! These apples can protect you forever. 
God, these are so wasted. Oh yeah. I'm not seeing anymore. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do now. Now that that horror story is done, we're gonna collapse as much as possible of this. Oh. And that's why we do that. Oh, thanks. Go cool glitching. stuff is hanging too. So is this. Oh, this is just, this place is made of badness. Oh, okay. Let's do this. And that is that is also floating. I think this is gonna be the last thing we do. Being concentrated on the ravine. What about behind you? <laughs> Thanks. Well there's a creeper down there. Look at that. That also means there could be a skeleton down there. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I'm going back home. <laughs> okay. Well, we kind of need to deal with each patrol as they come out to not end up having them sit around like that. And I think that was the right choice, even though it burned two of our golden apples. <sighs> right. Please stop being so close to this horrible ravine. And thanks for the bits, Thomas. At least now, that thing is... The thing is collapsed and there's not like a lot of floating blocks and stuff, so... That's better. Okay. Um, well, there's some time left in the day, let's go Weren't harvest Weren't you saving more. the golden apples for the nether? No. Nope. There's no such thing. I was getting the golden apples for the nether. I wanted to get enough of them to go into the nether. Golden that doesn't mean I are a renewable resource. Life isn't. Yeah, pretty much that. I, I'm using the golden apples whenever I need to use them. It sucks that we now need to get even more to go to the nether, but... The golden apples are there for me to deal with any kind of problematic situation, and I will use them much... I would much rather grind for more golden apples than I would uh, start over the world, is, I guess, the, the bottom line on that. So, yes, I want eight golden apples or so to go into the nether. We have fewer now. Too bad, now I have to grind more. <laughs> Pause remind the four minutes ago. And still 94 minutes ago. Yeah. That's true. I guess we should do another pause, or do a pause. Uh, because I need to move my back, if nothing else. So, let's, why not? There's never a good time. I'm gonna do that now. Um, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you very much, everybody, for uh, chilling with me. And I did not almost die, because that's the whole point of jumping and placing the block like that, is to prevent me from dying. But anyway, thank you. I'll be right back in a couple minutes.
And we are back. <laughs> uh, again, thank you for the bits, uh, everybody, and also thank you for the pause reminders, Fabio. Try not to think of Monday. I think that applies to a lot of people, sadly. Alright, so. We basically have an inventory's worth of stuff here. Yeah. So let's just make a whole bunch of these. It's just about nighttime here now, so we might not be able to trade them today, but still. Thank you, Azello. Oh, maybe we can squeeze in a few trades. Level 11 already, so that's good. There's no way you're restocking. Let's go squeeze ourselves in here. This guy's not supposed to be in here. He just accidentally fell down from walking on top of the glass. And I can't really... I could probably build him a way out of there, but I can't really be bothered. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I should probably just make a chest only for emeralds. This is getting a bit silly. Or maybe it's just a, like, like this? Perfect. <laughs> Meow! Uh, not... Might get a new job? Nice! You didn't really, like, appear to like your old job, I guess, so... Good luck, and I hope you get a job that you like. Or better. That's better. <laughs> okay, so what's their status here? Kind of, we need to keep keep tearing these down. We need to replant it. We need to sell more. We need to get more gold. It sucks. The fact that we used up, like, you could see it as pointless that I used up. Oh, I'm using the wrong axe. Dang it. Uh, that I used up a golden apple when I never really needed it. I, I didn't get hit. I, you know, it wasn't. But at least the first couple and some of the ones in the ravine, too, like, they were aggroed on me. And so if, you know, if that does. If, if it just takes one shot and they did have enchanted crossbows, like, it could have killed me and uh, it would have sucked. So I would rather do that. And like I said before, one of the core things that makes you succeed in uh, Triple H is persistence. It's not necessarily being the best at aiming a bow or being the best at, you know, making farms or anything like that. It's just persistence keep going take the safe route grind more rather than doing something silly and dying and having to start over what so that's what we're doing hi you want to trade with me perfect I think you should build the wall higher to the bamboo height. Doesn't fall to the side. Is it worth it though? 
Is it worth building a really tall thing when I'm falling off of it would cost me to die just for not losing a couple of bamboo that don't really in and of themselves give you that much? I, I don't think so. Can mobs spawn with thorns? Um, mobs can spawn with thorns, but but pillagers cannot spawn with armor. So that's why I said that they they can't have thorns. Pillagers spawn with enchanted crossbows sometimes, but they can't spawn with uh, thorns on the crossbow because it's an armor enchant and they don't have armor. So like I was safe from that. Um, which is why I hesitated in eating the sepple, second golden apple. But then, like, they did have angles where they could shoot me, and I know that they at least one of them were was targeted on me, so, like, why risk it, right? But yeah, mobs can spawn with any level of thorns that you can ha get. Mesmerized by bamboo. <laughs> just imagine. Just, just imagine the most annoying death being shooting a zombie and dying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why you have to be super careful about anything that has enchanted armor. The nice thing is you can see it. So just assume the worst in cur in, in, in terms of them having armor. And probably deal with that by burning them or something instead. It's funny. It needs the need, needs more dramatic music comment. It's probably like if I did, when I do the um, the video summary of it, it would probably will have because the music is separate now. <laughs> so. So that's that. Um, now we need to pick up the rest of this and grab these and trade the rest. Just gonna do all of this, then I can reach out again. I know I missed something. I suppose then that you wouldn't be able. Wouldn't be able to make a mob XP granger for these or skeletons in case they have thorns. That's kind of correct. I mean, I guess you could be super careful about it somehow, but hey, 15 levels. How are you doing this? Very, very carefully. <laughs> but yeah, we just dealt with a patrol. That was, those are scary moments. Hi. I guess that's done now. Uh, level 16, that's pretty good. Um, if you uh, if you just arrived, we are trying to get to the point where we uh, make it to the nether. I just used up um, two golden apples on dealing with a patrol, which means I kind of want these four to be golden apples too, which means I need to do a lot of uh, mining for gold. We also need to get up to level 30 again so that we can enchant this sword with looting three. How do hedgehogs reproduce? Very, very carefully. Nice. <laughs> I also recently figured out how to sep separate music in streams from music in videos. I'll totally do this myself. Yeah. Um, it's very nice when you do stuff like this where you cut a lot. So these are... Maybe worth actually harvesting again. I think we'll do that. We'll harvest these again, and then we'll go mining again. I think. 
So yeah, that that uh, pillager patrol was a bit of a setback, but still, I think it was worthwhile dealing with it. Jen, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you will enjoy your stay. You could probably do a mob XP grinder. Be an unnecessary risk. Yeah, so I was looking at it and, and if I was going to do a straight XP grinder, which I thought about first, uh, I just ended up not doing it. Then I would probably do a furnace based XP grinder. The problem is, I don't like using some of the more uh, uh, exploity uh, glitches in the game. And basically any um, any um, design that you can find for a furnace-based XP grinder is based off of zero-tick glitches. So, And I didn't want to do that, so yeah, I just ended up doing this instead. And it's worked really well, because I don't think I'll need that much of an XP farm kind of thing. And then, uh, well, if we're through and need mending stuff, then we can build uh, an Enderman farm. That would be fun. Okay. Uh, I might stream a bit on the fan server. If I could get OBS to work. Thanks. You probably also would have to use an axe rather than a sword. Why would that be? I don't think I understand that reasoning. How do you grow sugar cane without water? Uh, there's water. These uh, squares with the um, torches on them, they are top slabs waterlogged. That's how you get the optimal density of, of sugar cane without having something that isn't easy to walk on. Oh, missed one. So yeah, we, we spent a stream putting down lots and lots of buckets of water here. It was kind of grindy. <laughs> I guess that goes for much of this challenge. <laughs> I actually kind of feel like I should build over that ravine just to not have patrols like that um, drop into it because that that is kind of a bigger problem than just having a patrol is the patrol vanishing down into that. All right, well, it's about nighttime. We can make paper out of these first. One spare. Hey you, get off the bed. And now get into bed. I'm not sure if sweeping edge would multi-trigger thorns from multiple mobs. Yeah, I'm likely, I would say. Okay, we didn't get one, that's fine. Can it damage me, you would cancel out multiple triggers. I don't know, I got probably, if I was to do that, I would probably try to combine using the farm with like a turtle master potion or something. Because I would be standing still anyway and you can have the damage resistance from it. That was a dark villager. Huh. Sounded like a pillager thing. The jump I'm doing there is to gather an XP that's gotten stuck. All right, past level 20. So we're getting there again. And ridiculous amounts of emeralds. <laughs> All right, well, it's uh, just daytime. So I don't really see any good reason to, oh, I have the wrong pickaxe up. I don't have any good reason to not go down and mine now. Because we do need a lot more gold. And we'll do that. Uh, torches. Yeah, this is okay. 
Don't need that. I guess we'll do this. It's fine. Because we were forced to go up on on daytime again, just to check everything and stuff, and sleep, it doesn't really... I think those are higher up. It doesn't matter so much to me if I end up having to... Um, if I like don't clear my inventory so well, because like I need to go back up anyway regularly, so it's fine. Gift gold. This is the efficiency one. It's not the fortune one. So this is good. Gift glod. Glod plus. Smite five plus pigment equals EC gold. Yeah. Not right here. Not right here, my friend. Oh yeah, more XP. Nice. Yay. Should be using these off stone ones. Oh boy. It's such a pity that, that like, the place right below our base ended up having that uh, cave spider spawner. Because I really would have liked to clear out a big area and check for slimes and stuff, but... And that would have given us a bunch of resources too. But, oh well. I guess we shall strip mine. You could just make an overworld gold farm that drops them to death. By having portal space and having them spawn that way, or? I mean, that's possible. They just require a ton of obsidian then. Which is doable, but again, this is a lot about grinding. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. That would require a little more investment into pickaxes, I think, because... Uh, yeah, mining obsidian without a beacon. The concept is to have a bunch of portals with open tractors next to the bottom obsidian. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that, that, that totally makes sense. I just, like, getting that amount of obsidian... be a gap there. Uh, turtle eggs? You saying use turtle eggs to like lure them? Sure. The problem with that, like the problem, the whole problem with that idea is I would need to mine a ton of obsidian and I like that would take a long time with my current pickaxes. A very long time. That's actually bug using, but it's unlikely that bug will be fixed. I mean, I do a bunch of stuff that already involves bugs. Um, I just don't like to use the ones that are super exploity, like zero ticks and stuff that I like. Literally give you free resources. Why would you need obsidian? Because I'd need to make a ton of uh, ton of uh, nether portals if I was to make that farm. I think... I guess I'll look at that bug, but like to me at least it makes kind of sense that... Pathfinding is fundamentally flawed. Nice. Yeah, that's a big one. But yeah, the fact that the... The fact that they uh, kind of they, that mobs fall into trapdoors could just as well be a, like a gameplay mechanic to me. It's like a trapdoor 
that traps mobs. Sure. gonna do that which am I I'm using the right pickaxe yeah yeah I mean yes I like that too but uh, what I like normally and what I like in this challenge are very different beasts <laughs> because yeah doing something that is extremely grindy but safe is actually very appealing in this challenge. That's a lot of cobble. Or not cobble, coal. Getting a bit tired here. <laughs> okay. That's the end of it. In setting the portal two down two blocks in the nether roof makes it easy to get above the nether through portal. Well, if you're playing 115, you can always get up if, through a portal after you get up there. Because it's built in now. Good night, Thomas. Uh, would you consider using an S- Oh god, what time is it? Holy smokes. Okay, we're fine. Whew. That could have been bad. Uh, hold up. Would you consider using an exploit to get above the nether roof to build a pigman farm for this challenge? I mean, depends on what the exploit is. Would I consider using a bug to, like, get up there? Sure, I guess. But the problem is, how would I, I, what kind of bug would I use to get up, up on the nether ceiling without taking damage? Try 115, my friend. It's one of the changes. I mean, you all, obviously, you still have to link the portals properly like you would with any other portal, but... But it, it is valid now to, to portal up onto the nether roof. Right. Good, we're in good time. Tree sapling break bedrock? That hasn't worked in ancient, like, that was very long time since that worked. Do I have like... Uh, this is such a mess. My, all my boxes are in terrible disarray. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of iron, so I guess that's cool. I guess a whole bunch of coal too will just stick a whole... Okay, whatever. Uh, still need to wait a little bit. So it works since 111 or 112. Yeah, something like that. That's ancient. That, that way of breaking bedrock. And you still need to get up there before you can use it. Uh, you can get up using boats and using ender pearls now, but both involve taking some amount of damage. I could do it, but um, it would require some form of damage reduction thing. What did I get? String. Nice. I don't need to keep the redstone in there. But yeah, as, as far as I know, there's no glitch that I would feel confident in using in this version to be able to get up there. Um, maybe I could, like, uh, in a different world, try using like uh, a bunch of different methods and see if I have some 
one that is like consistently good. And then they could try it in this world, but it's one of those. There's a bunch of things that I, before I attempted it in this world, I would likely do it off, like off stream in in another world. Just try it like a hundred times to see how many times it works. Because yeah, oh, <laughs> hi, oh, I'm already using the that pickaxe, which I shouldn't have been, but it's fine. That all? I guess so. <sighs> yeah, you would most likely need protection for an all armor pieces. Uh, protection for an all armor pieces doesn't really help you though, because there's a cap to how much protection does. So, like, you, again, probably need a golden apple, possibly even in a, like, a notch apple. However, I would find one of those. Who knows? Respiration 3 enchant helps protect... Interesting. I would have to test that out. Uh, but maybe a turtle master potion? Now we're getting close to that cave system up ahead. That's an interesting block to find there. All right. Whoops, sorry about that. Get to see the ceiling for a bit. Using the right one? Yeah, we are. So, yeah, I, I would go, I would like make Turtle Master potions that were just going creative in a different world. Uh, grab a bunch of Turtle Master potions, golden apples, uh, totems maybe, um, and then Try to figure out a consistent way to get out on the ceiling without taking damage or without taking, you know, more damage than I can handle. One, two, three, here. Um, so yeah, that's what I would do, but that would take a bunch of time and like <gasps> stuff that is shiny and nice, but that I don't really need right now. Oh, well, I'd rather have cold. <laughs> Alright, that was eight diamond blocks. Eight diamond blocks. Give me your guesses, chat. How many did we get? Fortune three from eight diamonds. Yeah, you don't get 80 re reduction. So I had to try turtle master potions. I tried all the other things and then try probably ender pearls. 18? I pour some drink while we say 16, 19. <laughs> Minimum number is eight. Twenty-one, seventeen, thirteen, twenty-one, fifteen. All right, here we go. Twenty-one. Two of you said twenty-one. Both the night fighter and will run for fun. You're right. Nice. All right. Well, that's cool. Well. Hey! There's actually gold we wanted. <laughs> and some more iron. It's nice, I'm getting tons of iron. I don't really need iron for anything other than remaking my anvils at the moment. You can make some custom iron golems. Oh, nice. Lots of it too. We had four up there. So now we have nine. So we have 13. Uh, I kind of want 32 now. But I have four, so 13, 32. All right. My pessimist for saying 13 on a fortune three. Yeah, I would say so. You can sell iron for emeralds. I could probably use it to unlock um, a bit of a weapon smith of anything. I don't really want to sell iron. It's not generally worth it. It's only if I'm trying sp Ooh, ouch. Do not like that black spike. It's only if I'm trying to specifically unlock a certain type of villager that I would do that. Eating chickens. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I also missed TM TMVIFSA. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that in one world, but 
thank you for the follow as well. Sorry I missed your follow. And Mountain Mama. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hey! More, more shiny things that are great, but that I don't want right now. But we'll take them. They are also XP, which is also great. That is actually something I do want right now. Let's check on the time. Shouldn't be too bad. It's just afternoon, so it's good. Uh, which... This is the wrong one. This is the one I want. Give me gold, dang it. Oh, hey, look. I'm compressed. Compressed. Oh, it's a bunch of them again. This ties into an older conversation, but I just thought about another minor use for Silk Touch. You can safely mine in Mountain... Uh, no? You can't? So, does Silk Touching a... What do you mean you get from Silk Touching a uh, Silverfish? Who's there? Daylight Myth? Gifting a sub to Will Run for Fun. Oh, awesome! Thank you very much for that, and uh, congrats! All right, so we have 21, one, two, three, four. There's only four diamonds this time. How many do you think we got? Four diamonds. Uh, ooh. Hello. Nine, 13, 13 again. 13 is the popular choice. <laughs> 30 altogether, so that would be 9 new ones. Say 4. No. That would be 24, I guess, Fabian? You can safely silk touch monster egg blocks and kill at the same time? Really? 8 again, 12? We now have 29! We got eight. Uh, switching back. Huh. All right. Well, that uh, that then is an actual very big um, incentive to use silk touch. That is absolutely right. Give me some of that gold, dang it. Did I miss something that was up? I did mine the lapis. Probably should go up. Inventory is getting full anyway. Well, that's cool. I remember that being reported and I didn't know if it was a bug or not. That was before I was on the actual Java team. Oh god. Zombie villager groans. Interesting. Actually being able to trap one of them and like dealing with it would be amazing. But that's not for now. <laughs> Where did that creeper come from? Good try, Emily. Thank you for the bits. I feel I'm feeling too safe in I think I'll start moving some of my, like, valuables over into this chest. Oh, in you go. Is it time? We didn't get anything, that's fine. Alright, so we have 13 
gold now. I think we have them in here. Let's take these two and move them over as well. Yeah, let's do that. I'm looking for diamonds and you for gold instead? Yeah. That's what happens in this challenge. Like, you look for other stuff. It's weird. Alright, so that's one more apple. So we're up to five again. There's nothing more to it than to just keep mining. Sad as it is. Yeah. It would be cool, really cool actually, to end, end the stream in a, in a spot where we're basically ready to go into the nether. That would require uh, hitting level 30 again. And getting we have five more gold up there we need 24 now so we need 19 more gold that's good though getting a bunch of levels from this even though we're not finding gold all the time it's fine Branch mining usually yields more diamonds than gold for me. Probably due to fortune. Yeah, that makes sense. I find that gold is actually like harder to find overall usually. Does a patrol spawn above trees? Yes, patrols can spawn in trees in this version. We're still in the old version. Because of replay mod. There's a bunch. Nice. We're in a stack of redstone already. Up one level. This is all good. Hey! Look at that. Oh, and coal too. Awesome. Go to a mesa biome when you fly. Well, go to any biome is a kind of tall order in this. Traveling is dangerous. We traveled a whole bunch at the start of this season, or this run, to find this place, and now we've been kind of stuck since. It's not not doable. I would do it if I really needed to, but it's not. Like, gr again... Choosing the grindy but safe option, always better, even if it's, well, grindy. <laughs> I'm not understanding some of the comments that are getting posted. Hey, yours. How are you doing? I right. almost level 25. There we are, level 25. Awesome. Uh, okay. Grimly, I mind. A little up for that. That's fine. Oh, I'm running out of torches. That's the first. I accidentally made like way too many torches one time when I was going to make sticks from uh, the bamboo from the farm up there. So instead of making like a whole bunch of sticks, I made all of the sticks and and coal I had into like four or five stacks of torches. <laughs> so I've been using them ever since. So I think that in this line, I managed to dig past that uh, cave system that I got stuck on in the other two. So we've gone way further. We're like out under the we're birch forest. We're out under the island out there now. Because this is continuing the direction that we go down. 
which means that we're like out past the ocean. <laughs> hey! I usually usually end up making a stack of spruce pleasure plates who wanted to make trapdoors. <laughs> Oof, I can see that happening. Alright, there's a number of them too. Spliced in with some iron. That's cool. Ah. Nice. What is that? Seven. So we needed 19. We got seven. So that means we're down to just 12. So we're getting there. Ooh. Oh, let's fill this in then if we're going to be mining upwards here. The clock. Uh, my guess is that we're fine, but let's check. Yeah, it's uh, noon. Run. See some four still? Uh, no. Oh, wait, I'm still mining. Cool. Season three. But it's still the same season anyway. Oh, yeah. This this is the season that started in uh, the first of December, I believe. If you do Triple H, the command, like exclamation point Triple H, you'll see the details. Just a little more gold, please. Uh, also, uh, uh, there. So, just uh, as a kind of hint of about how this is going, this diamond pickaxe, we've used up half of it just looking for gold for these golden apples. Oh boy. So, we're definitely, like, it's too late to go to the nether and do the full thing this stream, but we'll definitely be ready by the looks of things to go to another at the start of the next stream. So that's going to be exciting. It's also going to be friggin terrifying, but what, what do you do? That's how this challenge works. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, maybe. I guess so. What was that space? Let's do this. Draugr. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, this is the wrong one. Welcome to the stream. Now we're getting so far away it's going to take a while to just get back. <laughs> but I do like to keep going in, uh, in each line like this until it's no longer like possible until you hit an obstacle. It's probably pretty good time to go back. Carmel land. <laughs> 25 levels. We probably have a pretty good set of sugarcane and bamboo to trade, to harvest and trade. Should get us back to level 30 now. And we can do the final enchant for the looting sword and combine with the other sword unless that becomes an amazing sword just by its own right Gus Gus thank you for the follow welcome to the stream um, actually this isn't so grown as I thought it's basically well it's all two basically so here's the thing we're going down this way so the birch forest we were under it's that island. That's how far away we were. I 
Hmm. So actually, the fact that that patrols can spawn on trees is kind of a an, a reason to tear down those trees, I guess. Don't know if it's, it's that urgent though. Like we should, it's, that should, that would be the worst luck ever. But of course, that could happen. Alright, well, now we should be able to- whoop, sleep. No gift? No gift. Should cut it down? Probably should. Uh, let's do this. Just for the sake of compressing things into here. Might as well do this too. Oops. It's actually ridiculous to have 40 emerald blocks. <laughs> um, and then we smelt the gold. So I give 16? No, 14. Yeah, we need 24 to make three golden apples. So we actually need 10 more only, not 12 as I thought. Or did I miscount that? Yeah, I did. We're just, we're just gonna have 12. So we're gonna have 12. And then, uh... oh no, we got a big one. Oh no. We need 12 more gold. That should be doable. That's... yuck. It's a cat. Right, let's tear the other ones down first, I guess. It's gonna take a while to be climbing this thing. Annoying. The problem is it's also gonna expose us to the outside world. So, if, for instance, there was a patrol, you could come and shoot me while I'm climbing around cutting this tree down. Which would be rather sad, wouldn't it? I should again not be using this. Because it's my sharpest one. I'm sure there's like one log in here somewhere messing the whole thing up. Actually, maybe there isn't. That would be some, oh. oh. I can see through this column. Yeah, maybe there isn't. That's a surprise. Oh, this. Uh, and then I think actually we'll let these decay, we'll pick up all the stuff, and then I don't think we'll replant it. Spread the grass. I want grass on my lawn. Hey, another apple, nice. So because they can spawn in trees, and because the the ground here is lit up, but the top of the trees won't be, I think we'll skip replanting. Yeah, that was a mild case of a large oak. Hey, one more. Nice. Yeah, another thing that we're gonna deal with at some point is this. We do want to make some form of farm, probably raid farm. That would be fantastic, but that's gonna be a lot of careful thought before we end up doing that. A hey, DCM and uh, Jackie. And WA. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the streams. Welcome to the stream. What welcomes to the stream? <laughs> I don't know. Welcome both of you. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Since you're half a heart, can you still die of poison? You can never die of po poison. Poison will always just take you down to half a heart. So poison will do nothing to me, but um, whatever would apply. What? 
the heck was oh it's uh work sound um what you what would apply the poison would kill me instead so if i if a, a cave spider hit me i would die from the body uh, damage not from the poison if a witch would uh, see me uh they wouldn't throw poison because uh they never throw poison if you're already at half heart so it wouldn't help so yeah uh, i can't die from poison but it doesn't help me <laughs> I might want to put the door back in case patrol spawn on top of the trees. Yeah, maybe. Now I won't have a trees, so it's fine. But if I do grow trees, then yeah, maybe I do. How are you chilling out there by the cacti and still haven't walked into them enough to die? <laughs> oh, despawned. Okay, I will leave it at that. We got six apples. Awesome. That is really good. Or did I have the other ones on me? No, I didn't. So we have nine apples now. That's fantastic. Pufferfish does damage. Yeah, like everything will kill me. If you have a question whether it will kill me, the answer is probably yes. <laughs> That's how this challenge goes. Okay, we really need to sort this out now. I have too much garbage there's like, like seven of these in here 23 gravel here are some saplings hug a cactus no thanks those will stack in there those will stack in there cool so we'll put these in here we'll put the cobblestone in here too we'll Make these into blocks. Probably. Oh, add more. My current armor can take a hit from a puffer fish or cave spider. Maybe. I still don't want to rely on it. Oh man, more than two stacks of redstone blocks. Wow. Whoa. Whole stack of coal. Just chilling. Okay, well. <laughs> Why do you have like one raw beef laying around here? Ugh, so much random garbage there. Here, you know what? Let's just take, let's just take the sticks and just smelt up this thing. There we go. Now it stacks. Well, it's too late in the day to go back down. So we might as well do some work over here and make more of the floor. So I'm not done with this. So, actually, there's supposed to be another right here. Four, three, two, one. That block is supposed to be a, a jack o' lantern. Just tune in. Won't you build a roof to prevent climbing spiders? My my uh, tactics for dealing with that kind of thing is basically. Never be awake at night. Don't let them spawn. At all. <laughs> so, it's worked this far, and this far is, what, like, 30 hours in? So, I think, I think we can consider that okay. not mean to do that uh where are they i know a million pumpkin seeds
Well, it's not like I need more of them right now. Um, so this next one, uh, the, I, the pattern is broken here. So this is supposed to be here. Four, five, three, two. I was right where that one is. Oof. Yeah, so it's, it's the line between here. So it's supposed to be there. I guess we'll just put it one off. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. Rip. Uh, I guess... We'll... Whatever. Just put one there. Put one there. I don't even know. Let's put some extras in. Put one here too, probably. The pumpkins are jack-o'-lanterns. They're lighting up the place. There's a reason I can remove the torches. Ooh, that's on the wall, so I can remove that. That's fine. I had torches, like, all over this place, and I kind of wanted to just get rid of them. So that's why I made a pattern with these uh, jack-o'-lanterns instead. Hi, cat. It's sat down. We won't get anything. Rip. All right. Well, time to go down again. Give an iron golem high five. No thanks. Uh. How do I have so much? So much storage, yet no available space. Probably because I kept about a gazillion stone hose that I had to trade. Might might have something to do with it. All right, twelve more gold. That's our target. One more line. One two. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Off we go. Uh, should do this again, I guess. Gold. 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 Please. Yeah, I should really sort my, th my storage and just do something proper with it. This is a boring thing to do on stream, too. It's like, let's shuffle items back and forth for an hour. On the fan server I did off stream, I kind of don't want to play this world off stream, though. Because it's... There's never a really safe moment when playing this, so... I feel like... We'd be kind of taking away something from... From the viewers. Do I think Nether update would be good? I'm kind of biased. <laughs> so... I definitely think so, but, you know. Might not be the right person to ask, to be honest. Alright, 26. Level 26. Awesome. Kinda biased. Yeah, I mean... I'm technically in charge of it, but I'm not in charge of the gameplay content. While I have some input, I'm not in charge of that. So whether or not the gameplay stuff is good is... I have input on it, but it's not... You know, my thing. What makes you biased? Uh, do exclamation point job. Oh, somebody did. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of redstone, lots of iron, no gold. Lots of coal too. Most the most nice part about that is I'm getting lots of the XP I need by just mining, which means I don't need to do all the trading up there because that's getting kind of old. Next time should be super exciting though, because we'll be heading into the. We'll be heading off to find to actually get blaze rods, basically. 
What exactly does it mean in terms of daily tasks? Um, it means I do I code on the game. I review other people's code. I, I'm in charge of planning for all of the technical stuff on the back end of the engine. Um, I prioritize, I basically lead the team. Uh, what, where would be your favorite department to work in? I think basically the job I have right now is probably the perfect job for me at Mojang. There's always like moments where you go like, I wish I had more to say in this whatever, but yeah, I'm very happy with what I do right now. Well, not right now, right now, but you know. That's a very odd, <laughs> hashtag oddly specific number. <laughs> Finds a ravine while mining. Nope. Yeah. I have I have noped out of. Ooh, was it? I was using. Uh. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I've noped out of ravines even though I've seen resources I want before. Um, in Triple H, it's it sucks, but you do it because it's the only way to play. <laughs> Oh, yep. Figured figured that would happen. This was a lot of coal that we dug out before. So, the dragon in Triple H is just such a big obstacle. You really 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 have to be prepared. Um so it's it's going to be it's going to be a while in the making. Oh boy, please gold. Just need 12 gold. I really would like 12 gold before we end the stream. It's possible that I could go without the eight golden apples too, but I just really would like that. I just feel like it would be a decent amount of protection. What would I do after the dragon? Well, it's a little early to say because it depends on what order things happen in. Something else interesting. Okay, we put a cobblestone there. I think that might be a thing that we mined up before. So I'm gonna go here and check. To be here, and there's a cobblestone there. Yes, okay, so this is fine. I didn't want to accidentally break into a cage. Wither! Might have done it before. Don't know. I mean, Wither is definitely a goal. Which order things happen in? Don't know. Dragon, Wither, Raid, all of them are goals. Uh, what a mess. Alright. 27. Get a electro boost, boost into wall. Enderman farm would be fantastically fun to be able to make in this game mode. Uh, I would probably have to make a, like an older style though. Because... I was using the wrong pickaxe again. Um... You kind of, if you, you kind of need to get a, an endermite for the new new types of farms. Which means throwing a whole bunch of enderpearls, which hurt. <laughs> so, uh, that or making make a gold farm would be nice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mince. Uh, are you less to use the totem? Why not? The only difference here is that my maximum health is half a heart. That's that's literally the one change. It's hardcore, but maximum health is half a heart. Piston pusher, maybe. 
It could be a trapdoor based thing too, I think. There's, it's possible to do that. Or we figure out a good way to make a... Basically, if I make a gold farm and uh, get a uh, good... Uh, and, and then I could get a villager and get a good apple trade. And then we have basically infinite golden apples, which would be good. <laughs> That's probably the thing I should be doing. Uh, DFH, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Much appreciated. Uh, okay, hold up. Okay, well, after some reading, there will be two types of damage reduction done by wearing diamond armor with all protection four. I think it's possible that Sam may have forgotten this, but diamond armor naturally has the damage reduction by itself and the protection four enchants. Reduce any damage that would normally get through the armor's damage reduction. So that means you can see the 8% damage reduction that I mentioned. Uh, if you have protection 4 on everything though, you're wasting. You're wasting potential. You're staying up pretty late? Yeah, it's a decently late stream. Uh, this is kind of the, the usual length of them though, but I am staying up late, I know. Uh, and I had, uh, I like slept in long today and I slept during the day, so it's fine. Like, it's not like I'll be tired because I've already slept a bunch extra. What is the time? Oh boy, it's time to get back up. Depends on the type of damage taken too, yeah. At the end of the day, I am unwilling uh, to rely on any calculations of damage. Uh, whatever I rely on is going to be... Um, it's going to be that I do... Um, tests, or somebody does tests. Experimentation. God, what? The noise cap is 20. Rotten flesh. Well, that was kind of sucky. It was a whole day of mining and we got no gold. All right, fine, we'll move these two. <laughs> this is our new valuables chest. Um, that's insane. <laughs> um, maybe we'll just do this. We'll fill up all of these with coal. <laughs> why not all right so one more six I really need to sort these. It's just horrible now. Well, at least we're getting a whole bunch of cobble, which is good. <sighs> How's this looking? This is actually time to harvest now, though. Let's go, let's get that level 30, let's get the looting done. This is the wrong pickaxe to be on my bar, so let's just fix it while we're at it.
to kind of in the progression of this we want the looting because we're going to the nether to find a strong uh fortress to kill blaze to get blaze rod the point of that is to get brewing we want to get one piece uh that's all we need because we already have a brewing stand we stole from uh another village the point of that is to then be able to brew fire resistance potions so with one piece we can make uh, the um, we can make the uh, uh, fuel for the brewing stand, and we can make the magma cream that we need. If we find a magma slime, we'll kill it on the way. But uh, the point is, do as little as possible to get us fire resistance. Go back out, make the fire resistance, um, make the fire resistance long enough to, to maximize its use, and then go back in afterwards. I really don't want to risk more than I have to. Um, so basically, as quickly as possible, identify a fortress, get to the point where I can do brewing, brew fire resistance potions, then kill more blaze. Because it is dangerous. Uh, and it's, it's going to be... We're going to maximize our chances of survival, but it's going to be dangerous. Really, really dangerous, regardless of how we do it. one so any on the edge no it's so hard to see them <laughs> this cat is just stuck in the corner being afraid hello cat I'm sorry you don't understand this lab I can't help you that's under oh there's the cat running oh there's one damn this loud yeah I wonder if it's gone up. No, my box is still down. I'll put it down a little more, I guess. All right. Now to trade this to get. Ooh, okay, well, inventory is almost full, so we'll do this first. Oh, cool. Alright, this should really put us up to level 30. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping so. Alright, this thing again. Wings? What's the... what's the context of the wings comments? Because I don't understand it. Oh no, this is not giving us nearly enough XP. We'll be 29 in a little bit. Maybe half, halfway. Could harvest these. Don't think I will. I'll get enough XP from just mining. And we need to go mining anyway, so why not wait? It's noonish. Hmm. That sucks. Wings are the only thing that will save you from void. Uh, not really. Ender pearl could, if thrown properly. Ooh, that gave us nearly enough. Mm. Dang it! That's annoying. Did I say I wanted to? Well, one thing we could do is there are these two like this guy and the other guy uh where is he there's one other of the oh you i guess that haven't been fully unlocked so we could unlock them by trading a bunch and we have the spare emeralds now so this is nice like there's no reason to keep these i have 40 blocks of emeralds hey nikki and a minecraft cube so we might as well just buy, if there isn't a big iron golem in my face, we might as well buy a whole bunch of lanterns, I guess, or yeah, that's the best. 
knockback fortune. We don't need any of these, so lanterns it is. Yay! And that gets us 11.30. Because we want to do that anyway, see if we get something good for the thing. Let's, let's just guess that we'll get something that we needed all the time, but then got painfully. Hey, let's go make this enchant. Okay, we only got looting. Let's, uh, cool. Let's uh, see what the other ones is, because we want to combine these, but I don't want to combine them until we have done everything that we need. So the thing I need now is unbreaking on the shield. Uh, efficiency four is really appealing. <laughs> Do you want to wait for efficiency four? How much do I have to pay for you to kill yourself? More than you can afford. No, I no 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 no. Is it? No, this is not efficiency five. Is what I had in my first world, right? I don't have this in this one. Should buy mending too, actually, because I need one more of these. Why not? Let's keep doing this, because oh, I should not have the bow out. Might as well buy a bunch of glass. Well, we use, use a whole bunch of glass, so why not buy it? Wait, lame, how much? Oh no. Get me more glass. Sell me more glass, please. Uh, get out of my face. You. What do we... Uh... I would buy a clock it's just I don't want to take the inventory space for it you're not restocking because it's too late in the day fine if you need mending you really need to get an XP farm well yeah I don't know. Consider the fact that I don't need ever to mend my armor. My armor never takes damage. Because I don't take damage. Alright, we'll sleep. And then... I guess we'll go down and mine. We need those extra 12 gold still. So that, whatever. Uh, we have the three mending books that we need. I want mending on my shield, on my pickaxe, and on my axe. Those are the three mending that we're going to put on. So this goes up here with the others. This is not needed anymore, and this is an extra thing. Auto furnace to get XP. Yeah, I don't know. How long have we been playing Minecraft? Are you asking how long have we been playing today or total? <laughs> today is the uptime command. Um... I started playing Minecraft the kind of the day it hit beta, I think. When it was in alpha, I was like, I'm not going to play while well, it's in alpha. I'll wait until it hits beta, and then when it hit beta, I started playing. That's nine nine years and whatever. Uh, I guess these go here. Hey, yo. A very, very long time. Okay, let's uh, go mining 400 durability, that's fine. Oh, you need a sorting system? No, I just need more chests. First time I played Minecraft was on the Xbox. Didn't exist when I started playing. Well, the console did, I'm pretty sure, but the version did not. Alright, we can still keep going here, so let's keep going here. Do you remember old emerald blocks? I remember most of those things. I've, I've gotten used to all of the new textures, though, but... I think in most cases there, was, there were upgrades. Really good. But yeah, my my storage is a mess. I'm aware of it. Jeez, this tunnel is long now. 
and I've dug it this long because Cod the dice? Why was there a cod the dice? Cod hurts? Cod dies? Drown swims. Uh, I have decided we should go the other way. Am I under ocean now? I'm under a beach. River. River? Alright, well, never. Never mind. We're not going there. I'm not. That doesn't. No point. Not gonna tangle with drowned. Trident would yeet me the heck out of here. Not doing it. <laughs> run away. Yep. I shall bravely run away this. Um, uh, run this way. <laughs> Not run away, of course. I would never. All right. Well, that was a lot of running for no good reason. One, two, three. Here's the next one. That was a lot of gravel. <laughs> gold, please. All I'm asking for is a bit of gold. A bit being quantified as 12 ingots. I decided to test the respiration thing. Oh, cool. A uh, birch tree growing on top of me with diamond armor. The respiration three resulted in instant death. A birch tree growing on top of me with diamond health with protection one resulted in one tick of damage and no death. Yeah. That's cool. So respiration helps. The conclusion then is respiration helps... Uh, doesn't help with suffocation damage um, that isn't water suffocation. I've never seen a man fear a cod so much in my life. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I did not fear the cod. I feared what was happening to the cod. I did not want to share the cod's destiny. Ding. You know. Uh, level. Oh, what the heck? Level. Uh, oh, pff, here we go again. Level twenty nine already. There we go. No, there we go. That was twenty nine. So just a little more for level thirty. And then we have that. Can't even remember anymore. It was efficiency four was the thing that we were looking for. Or waiting for, or whatever, however you wanna. Oh, why am I throwing out stuff all of a sudden? That's weird. Badass. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Ding, 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 ding. I like that sound. XP get. Subconsciously getting ready for piglin trading. Game, Minecraft, Java edition since the 1st of October 2010. Wait, what? You mean the release date or what was that? Thank you for the bits anyway, but I'm confused. He's confused. No. Trading trading gold to piglins seems like a terrible use of Oh come on! What? Alright, uh... 
I would I would love to relog to fix this, whatever this glitch is. But relogging would mean waiting for a five hour replay file to save, which I'm not going to enjoy. And neither are you, because it would take forever, so we won't. We'll just live with the fact that my pickaxes randomly get thrown out of my inventory. Okay. Minecraft saved me from World of Warcraft. Okay, now it's in there. Okay, didn't throw out this time. Okay, cool. Kind of the same, actually. I stopped playing World of Warcraft um, kind of by myself, and I started playing Minecraft a bit, and then I came back to World of Warcraft, but it didn't have the same pull on me because I kept going back, back to Minecraft instead. It's kind of a soft way to pull me out of it. Oop, that one was my fault. I kind of mixed up doing two things at once. Clock, what time is it? Uh, we have a bit of time. Have I ever played RL Craft? I have not. Not really gotten into that. Um, I The last mod pack I played was the... Uh, a Feed the Beast Continuum. Um, I would like to play a mod, a mod pack again, but probably would go for Project Ozone 3. Um, but then... Okay. This is cool. Um, but then, likely... I would... I don't know when I would do that, actually. Like, that's the problem. I don't know when I could possibly have time to play a mod pack because they take a lot of time and like I'm already running three different streams and doing other videos and stuff so that's my problem. I don't... There is no time. Give me gold already! We're gonna have to go back up soon. We've spent two full days, in-game days, mining now, and still have not found one piece of gold. We're almost level 30 though. So we could trade for the rest and then get the level, uh, that efficiency book. Is gold rarer than diamonds? I don't think so. But you can multiply the diamonds by using fortune, but you can't multiply the gold. I am careful mining up. All right, cool. So we got a little bit of time here, which means I'm going to grab some of these. And we're going to buy a bunch of more lanterns to unlock more stuff. If I can squish myself in be behind this guy. Uh, or I guess we buy glass out of this guy. That should unlock you. Oh, you went to bed. Cool. Um, well, <laughs> you went to bed and unlocked new traits. <laughs> nice. Uh, well. I guess we'll spend some time here though, because they go to bed while we still can't. I guess we should put these in our valuables chest. Hi, Samoy. That's a lot of playtime. Okay, now we should be able to go to bed. You should swap your face cam for a pick of lime. Uh, let's see what, what he unlocked. Well, he would have unlocked a name tag, because that's always the last thing. So that doesn't help us. What about this guy? If I can... Let me, let me through. You! Well, let's unlock you. We need the levels anyway. And that was your last? Yeah. So we won't get any more enchanted books. That's fine. Let's grab these and this. 
And some of this, I guess some more. All right, so let's get that book. Only efficiency, that's five. Piercing efficiency. Punch one at level 30. There's punch two, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being stupid about that, right? It's Stephanie. I missed your follow. I'm sorry. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Max is punched too. Yeah, then we're not going to care about that. Uh, let's just do level one things. Why is it so hard to get general unbreaking books? <sighs> I just want unbreaking. Get oh there on a bow. Cool. Uh, I think we'll wait with disenchanting them. The only reason to put anything on a bow would be all protection for diamond armor with or without respiration 3 plus full hunger and saturation plus golden apple would prevent any damage from nether roof. Well, how long? Like, what are you... What are you measuring? Because, I mean, you have to still make it up there. That's not consistent. Infinity or would have. This is stupid. Come on. Piercing four. I don't see why I would like piercing. Let's put this efficiency book away so we don't accidentally yeet it. Because that would suck. Ten plus ticks of damage? Really? This is ridiculous. Punch 2 is on level 30 now. Do I care about it? I'm, I'm not exactly sure that Punch 2 would actually be beneficial. Consider the... Consider the encounter with the, uh, the patrol out here. If I would have had Punch 2, then they would have, like, gotten pushed back out of my range. So I don't... No, 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 I'm... I think I'm changing my mind. I, I just I'm not. I don't care. I'm not gonna look for it. I all I want, literally all I want, is unbreaking. Any level of unbreaking, and I'll take it and try to combine them. There we go. Unbreaking three. That's exactly what I want. So now all we need is one more time up to level thirty. Then we have exactly everything I want, and we can just combine items. It doesn't, that one isn't, that wasn't, isn't strictly necessary. But it would be nice to have it, just for that little bit of extra uh, survivability if, if it comes to it. If we're in there a long time. I'm gonna put these, put those here. So that took forever, about half the day. What do we do now? I guess we go mine, even though half the day is gone. I think what we can do is we can do a, a new... How long had it gone? Maybe I wasn't that far in. Wait. Oh, uh, this way. Mm. 
This is Zombie or somewhere. Hey, you five raiders joining from Storyteller. Story oh god, I can't speak. Sorry about that. Uh, a little, little focused on the zombie right now. Which is not a thing you'd normally do. Uh, but this is half-hearted hardcore. It's terrifying, no matter how you look at it. Um, hello. Welcome, raiders. Thank you very much for that raid. Can we get a shout-out for Storyteller going in chat, please? Yeah, so this is half hearted hardcore. If you haven't seen this before, this is exactly what this said says on the tin. It's a half hearted hardcore world. I have half a heart, maximum health, and it's in hardcore mode. And it's absolutely terrifying whenever anything happens. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream. Welcome to this little. We probably won't be going for that much longer, I'm sad to say. We have been going for quite a long time now. I just want some gold. I'm trying to get prepared to go to the Grr. like a creeper. Like a creeper. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the bits. Uh, we're trying to get set to the point where we can go to the Nether next time, um, which will be even more terrifying. Uh, but for that, I wanted. I said I wanted eight golden apples. Because they are pretty much the any, the only thing that gives me some survivability right now. Um, but the last three days that we have been mining here, we have found zero gold. It's just slightly frustrating. My armor is basically exactly what I need. I have all the enchants that I want except one unbreaking on the shield, then combining stuff up. So we need some more XP. But we're basically ready except this dang gold. And I just cannot find any gold. It stopped. There's no more gold. It just stopped existing. <laughs> this is good though. I'll take all of the things I can find like this because it gives me experience, which I also need. Can you pick my farm or is it too big of a risk? It's... I can do one type, I could do an overworld type. We discussed it a little bit earlier when uh, Fabian suggested I should do an overworld pigman farm. And it, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh God, I did not have blocks in my bar. All right, so that's the end of that, which is fine, I guess, because we're going, I need to go up and sleep anyway. Uh, but if I do that, that, that would be fine. I could definitely do that in a safe manner. Problem being, take forever <laughs> i need to mine a ton of obsidian for it currently my best pickaxe for for that kind of stuff is uh, efficiency one so it will take forever <laughs> what is that who's that montrask thank you dying cards uh, i did <laughs> thank you very much for the bits oh enderman uh, uh, uh. All right. Actually, I want to check out what I have in here now. So there's a couple of redstone more. This is nice though. Both glowstone dust and redstone. I think I have some glowstone somewhere else though. But still, maybe we'll take that out. Hey, I did not have that because I've never had glowstone before. Apparently, let's stick those in here. Pause reminder. Fifteen minutes ago. Holy crap, is it that long? Okay. Yeah, we really need to wrap up the stream pretty soon. <laughs> I really just wanted those gold. <laughs> Dang it! Summer of Wither to mine the obsidian for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Good idea. <sighs> Alright, well. Can't do much but wait for nighttime and sleep now. We'll stash away some stuff in the meantime. Then tomorrow, time to just go mining again. And I really want to get those. Um, we only want to get 12 gold. What's our level at? 18. Where'd the cat go? Over there, of course. Oh, and here's a gift. I thought I didn't get anything, but I did. Um, morning gift, rabbit's foot. Two of them. Uh, 
98 durability. Okay, we're actually gonna buy a new one. Hey, dude. No, you're already armor. Never mind. Hey, dude. Sell me a pickaxe, will you? Could you ever make a highway to place instead of risk dying that way? Instead of risking dying on the way? Yeah, totally. It's uh, it's kind of in my plan to whenever I need to do that. I'm kind of thinking when we deal with this, when we start dealing with the the um, uh, pillager outpost out there. Oh, how's the grass doing actually? Still nowhere near. Anyway, let's go down. Uh, when I do that, I'll probably make some form of pathway there. Um, underground, maybe, or in a tunnel. I'm also considering whether I just want to make stuff like on a glass thing in the sky. Could be a thing. Alright, I guess this is the one. Wait, no, we were done with that one. We need a new one. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, here. Good. Oh, right into some lapis. Nice. And also lava bubbling, which is less nice. Hey, gold! Oh, okay. Let's not get gravel in our face. Alright. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's good. That's as much as we could. D Surprise creeper. Nice. Good timing when I held a torch, so I actually placed the torch instead of using my shield there. Um, thank you for the bits. We um, actually, um, that's really good because even a small gold vein now will get, a, get us the last four. These are good because they give us a whole bunch of stuff and also XP. Hey. And exposing more blocks is always good. Ding, ding. When I tested because I'm not using the Triple H world, I had 10 full hearts. Hmm. Yeah, I mean the thing is, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna break like not break bed bedrock because, well, I guess if I'm if I haven't upgraded yet, if I'm still in one fourteen, then I would have to break bedrock, uh, which would be an interesting beast, to say the least. Um, but then just to get up to the nether ceiling, what I would do would be I would, oh yeah, I forgot. I would, oh, hello. I would like basically either, well, probably create a new Triple H world, but with cheats enabled, because cheats are off in this world. And then just switch to creative, creative mode, set up the whole thing and then do tons and tons of tests. I would do like a, it would actually not set up Triple H, but actually half-hearted survival and test. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, so one, two blocks, three blocks, four blocks, five blocks, six blocks of diamond. Your guesses, chat. How many diamonds do you think we actually got? Six blocks of diamond, fortune three. Give me your guesses. <laughs> four faculty. 17. 7, 15, 10, 16. I'm gonna mine with this pickaxe for a bit. Because you can't switch without showing you the answer. Um, but you said you had 10 hearts. I would set up a half hearted world in survival. So, 14. 
Anybody say 14? Nobody said 14. 15, 12, 16, I saw a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of lava, lava bubbling off to the side here. Okay, more iron. Eerie noises. <laughs> 14! 14 forehead. <laughs> Yay, Fabian got it. Congrats, Kappa. Level 20. So that's good. Storyteller, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, and thank you again for that raid. Okay, let's dump a torch down here too, so we don't get spawns. This is like the most well-lit cave system or branch mine system ever. Let's do this. Alright, just because we're like paused here anyway, let's take a look. Whoop. Take a look at the time. Just afternoon. That's so okay. Switch back. Let's do this pickaxe and let's go. Gold, please. Please gold. Four gold is all I ask for. There we goes the pickaxe. Next! That's why we got the spare. People have their own favorite games, it's fine. This, there's no need to have the same favorite game. I don't think there's a, a reason to try to call something the best game, objectively. Let's just, uh, let's just all join in uh, celebrating how fantastic it is that we have this like amazing gaming. What it has like turned into is friggin' amazing. Globs. Please gold. I just want gold. <laughs> well, I guess I do want XP too, but at this point, if we just find the four gold, that'll be good. And then at the start of the next stream, we can uh, get the last bit of XP because that will be quick with some tr some trading and stuff. We get the last bit of XP and do the last bit of combining and stuff. Any game that I'm still playing and is still being updated ten years later, he'll call a great game. Oh, call it a great game is uh, is fine by me. Like there are many many great games. I just don't think that uh, it's. I don't think it's valuable to like argue about what's the best game. I think it's better to just accept that people will have different favorite games, and it's that's fine. I'm gonna use these off stone types to build in again, so they don't clutter my inventory, and so we have something to build with. Thank you for the bits. No, I don't want to make... Okay, it's definitely time to go back up. Switch those. 
I can get lots of XP from mining quartz, but it's also more dangerous. And it's, it's a couple. It's a thing that I've mentioned like a couple of times. And this, this, this challenge in particular rewards persistence over daring. <laughs> Watch Good out for creepers on the way. Thank you. Thank you for the bits and for the advice. Oh, but that was not the best timing this time. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'd rather... Ooh. Yeah, you sat down, didn't you? Sit down there instead. I'd rather... Grind more. In things that are safe. Because that's... At the end of the day, how you're gonna... Uh, survive or make the best out of this challenge. Alright, let's... <sighs> okay. Patrol decided to visit while you were downstairs. How nice of them. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Jesus, look at this. We're almost up to three full stacks of redstone blocks. Alright, well... Down we go. Gold. Just four more gold. It's a decent amount of redstone. Yep. We're getting a... We have a problem here now, actually. Because this way, continuing more this way, we're actually about... Oops. Uh, we're about to hit the cave system there that is actually a mine shaft and there's a bunch of there's actually like a cave spider spawner and stuff in there so there's a there's a whole bunch of nope that way <laughs> and the other way is the same so we're kind of a little bit stuck and we're running out of potentially mineable space So, I kind of need those four golds here right now. Game. Come on, game. Should be more. There's more. All I want is four, four gold ingots. Oh. Well. I'll take it, but it's not what I want. Oof. Uh, wrong pickaxe. Gold, please. This is actually ridiculous how much we've mined without finding more gold now. We found decent amounts in the beginning, but now this is crazy. But yeah, I would like to be as ready as possible before next time. If we don't find it, obviously we'll have to end the stream at some point, but... Still. Any moment now we'll find it. I am certain. I wonder at this point how many, like, gold blocks that have been, like, one block away from us that we haven't seen. Level 22, which is good, I suppose. <sighs> Fine. Wait, what? Fortune pickaxe actually running kind of low in durability because we've mined so much with it and we've only mined the stuff that fortune helps with. Gold often spawns a bit higher than diamond. 
I have uh, I've checked that before, and the, the answer I got was that the most um, the most efficient. Ooh, oh, don't like that lag. Uh, the most efficient level to mine for gold is still this level. Suddenly, imagine. <laughs> Imagining Sly Slam as a prospector in the 1800s. 12? We're level 11 right now. I believe. Yeah. I am not, I don't think I checked it myself, but somebody from chat checked it when we were discussing it then. So, I mean, I'm not like 100% sure, but I, I have no reason to mistrust uh, whoever did that then. Yeah, I mean, the ore distribution I don't think has changed in a long, long time. So anything that made was made then would still be Accurate, I would assume. Except that they probably show that gold exists, which uh, clearly it doesn't. But you know, mistakes happen sometimes. Just have to accept it. Alright. We're out here again. This is problematic. I'm running out of space. I mean, we have seven golden apples at this point, so I mean, yeah. It's not like that one is like a requirement strictly. I'm just like, I would like it. We are kind of out of space, so I think what I'll do is I'll go up and uh, you'll check the status of the farms and stuff if we should uh, harvest one more time and trade and see what we can get to. I don't think we'd get to level um, 30 from it, even though that would be nice, but that one is definitely ready. Yeah, they're both ready for harvesting. Well, I guess we could probably trade our way up to that because we'll get some XP from this stuff too. Uh, but this into uh, and one more apple seven golden apples and four ingots left so close <laughs> That's probably more than more than three stacks of redstone blocks now. Yep. Look at that. That's insane. And more than one stack of coal blocks. Wow. All right, well. What is it? Okay. Let's take a path up here. A path, a pass up here. Let's take a look around and see if some sp a patrol has spawned. Not really seeing anything bad. That's a wandering trader. Way out there. Just chilling next to that cactus. Uh, we have time. I really want to go check. Because they could, if he had like slime balls, 
I would buy all of them. For certain. So let's... Let's grab an absurd amount of emeralds and rush out there and check. Oh god. It's actually a little late. This is fine. Hello, my dude. No. F yeah, no. Unless there was any reason I would buy coral, but I don't think so. Alright, well, we checked. We tried. We can buy XP bottles from the for the rest of this emeralds and we'll get quite a bit of the way. Which is probably we should, something we should start doing. We got something there. What did you give us, Kitty? Huh. Okay. Sea pickle farm? But why would I need sea pickles though? All right, let's do the thing one more time. Oh, if it let, lets me out. I mean, the only reason I would get sea pickles is to light up underwater. But I thought I saw him taking damage out there. Might be a cactus lime dye, uh, I guess. Lighting up an underwater structure seems to be the only real reason I would do that to me. But... I might as well do that with jack-o'-lanterns, or even regular lanterns, or, you know, glowstone once we get that far, so, I, I don't know. Look more natural, sure. I mean, it would be nice, but you know, I don't have to do that now. There will be some, there will be some, some opportunity to buy or get coral. I think there's a coral reef not far, far out from here either. So, or also, I guess is the word. So that I, I can sort that if I need it, but now, not worth it. Just another item to clutter our inventory. Which, as we already established, is in terrible disarray in my... I need, like, a, a 14 more chests or something. Oh, hey! Razor trader. Nice bug. Problem is, it was a long time ago that we traveled here. I know we traveled here uh, past a lot of stuff through the ocean out there. Uh, and I know we passed several coral reefs. And I think the last one of them is pretty nearby, but it's like it was a long time ago, so I don't quite remember. That's a lot of... It's a lot of sugarcane. As a result, this is a lot of paper. Oh, it's more paper than I can fit in my inventory. Wow. Hi. Buy all my paper.
Hey, level 25. We might make this just from trading, actually. Are you gonna restock? Thank you. Wow. Okay, well, that's all we get from that. Um, now, I have 54 of these. There's really no reason for me to not just start wasting these by, by cutting down the farm with the diamond swords. This is 114 for... The video archive for that trip is on YouTube now. Yeah, the uh, the archive might be. I mean, I have the archives, of course. <laughs> oh, the lag. pattern okay more trading you will basically go out and just pick up all of these and it will probably fill up most of our inventory just from like picking the stuff up that we already dropped fine we'll leave that one I made a mess of the place. Oh, <laughs> look at that. You grab some more here and we'll probably f actually fill up the inventory. No. Some spare laying around too, don't I? Yeah. Let's trade some more, dude. It was fun the first time. Level 27. What? Are you stuck? Did you stop? I heard another one working. Okay, we'll do the other guy. Hi, uh, you. Trade. Okay, so we got 3d9 emeralds from that. Let's actually just do this. Cool. Because why not, John? Because this is also fun. <laughs> what is he doing with all the sticks? Oh, we don't ask that. Some things are just better left untouched, right? So maybe with a sword I can more easily do this and cut them at the second level. See, see how annoying it is to pick them up. Yeah, these are already like growing again and stuff. And my inventory is full already. Are you kidding me? Make a bunch of them into sticks, then to clear up, and then 
Not too many, because we still need to replant a bunch, but... Ah! Yeah, this is actually very annoying. I think I'll stick to replanting from now on. Yeah! That guy just has the, the world's largest stick collection somewhere in between that workstation and the bed he has. You will stick to replanting? Aha, aha. Got some time. Maybe I'll have time to replant all of this before nighttime. Yeah, it's not much left actually. You see, I'm getting tired. I keep misclicking and clicking on the uh, this one that I've already planted by misclicking before. <laughs> okay. Let's make space. Get it. Where'd you go? Oh, there. Hi. What do you get? Chicken. Cool. All right. Last little bit left. Well, fine. Whatever. Oh, no. You're still locked up. What about you? You got some trading in you still? Probably won't be enough. I have to wait for a little bit for them to restock. Ah, uh, there we go. Almost. Uh, you probably didn't restock. Nope. So close. Look at that XP bar. Holy smokes. Can you suffocate on bamboo? I don't believe so. Come on now. Oh. Hey, well, this is pretty annoying. Where did we put the chicken? Did we put it here? Yeah. Let me just put it away to make space. Smelt something? Actually, it did already. Thanks. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? He's doing a book. Right. He wanted that unbreaking for the shield. Not an iron ingot, silly. Nice. Alright, so that means we have everything we need. We need to put mending on a bunch of stuff. And that's all, really. Efficiency might be... We wanna, might want to make a better pickaxe at some point. It doesn't matter right now. Uh... The, the swords need to be combined. And that's all. So we need to combine a whole bunch of stuff now. I'm breaking for the shield, yeah. Actually, should probably combine the books first. Uh, let's do... Knockback 2, looting 3... Sharpness 5. Same. That's 22 levels. And this is 13 levels. Cool. Uh, shield this. Very nice. And then I want mending on this. I don't we, I don't really have a pickaxe that I should have mending on, but this definitely goes on the axe. I could put mending on the sword, 
but I don't see myself really using the sword that much, right? The sword is kind of my, like, I'll probably be holding it as I shoot things more often than anything else. So we have a mending book that is supposed to go on a pickaxe, but honestly... Should be making a good pickaxe before I do that. Which probably means efficiency 5 and, like, I'm breaking and stuff, which I don't have again. It doesn't matter right now, it's not needed right now for this. That's for sure. And we're down to level three. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that ate. That ate some stuff. But. Oh man, if I'd made all of those into shears <laughs> by accident. We have 45 blocks of emeralds at the end of the day. This is pretty good. I wonder if it's a worthwhile tactic to like bring a bunch of iron blocks of iron and, and just like in a fortress make a bunch of iron golems. <laughs> oh god, okay. Well, we did the thing. We're not gonna care about the last four gold. I admit defeat. <laughs> we, we did the thing as good as we can. Maybe, maybe we'll mine some more at the beginning of the next stream, but basically Armor is as good as it's gonna get for another adventure. Yeah, imagine if I'd accidentally sh sheared all of those. That would have been that would have been something. Let's just take a quick look around, see if we see spot something dangerous. I don't think so. We're good. That means pause the screen is the thing, because time should not... No gold for me today. Well, we got a whole ton of gold still. It just... Yeah, didn't get more now. Anyway, pause screen. Because uh, this world should not progress without me actually paying attention. It is still a dangerous place. Thank you so much. This has been an amazing stream. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, I love that so many people came by and watched. We are, of course, going to... raid somebody because uh yeah hey it looks like il mango is uh digging well it's like craft let's go raid il mango uh if you don't know who il mango is he's uh, one of the technical community is a mastermind on sitecraft in 35 minutes <laughs> thank you uh, uh that might not be a needed thing but yeah uh, let me just double check this. It's not lying to me. It's not. That's fine. Um, enjoy your time over there. If you like it, make sure you follow. If not, feel free to leave. Say hi for me. This has been amazing. Thank you very much.